What a first episode, huh? What a response. Very overwhelming. I was not expecting all the love and support that I received. You know, not a whole ton of people listen, but that's not the point here. The point here is to talk about Detroit hardcore and the roots of Detroit hardcore and the experiences in the hardcore scene here in Detroit. I appreciate everybody reaching out, you know, saying good job and blah, blah, blah. Have fun. Do it again. Um, uh, guest suggestions have been fucking rolling in. I appreciate that a lot because there's a lot of people who had a lot to do with the scene. And I don't know them all. You know, I know I look perfect and I talk perfect and, you know, all that. But I do not know everybody, even though I love this shit. So just, uh, keep the suggestions rolling in. And if you have any suggestions, audio-wise, video-wise, any cool ideas, I want it all, man. This could be a fun time had by everybody, and we all deserve to have our voices heard. There's not much going on today, except I said I was going to start talking about things going on in the scene if people threw them at me with record releases or shows eventually when they start happening again. But luckily, this weekend, this will be out just a day after. This is coming out the 25th. January 24th is a good day for one of the heaviest Detroit hardcore bands, Tyrant. They are releasing Welcome to Hell, their first album again on Over and Out Recordings with our boy Brendan. I do not know how to say your last name, and I'm not going to butcher it. I'll attempt, though. Therian? Tyrion? I have no idea. I love you anyway. Um. Anyway, Tyrant, man, I can remember going to their shows and just like not knowing what's going to happen. They never really seemed to get shut down in Detroit because everybody at the venues, you know, they knew what was going to happen, and it never really got too bad because we would police ourselves before it got to that point where it would have to be shut down except for maybe at the modern exchange a couple times in southgate everybody knows uh the owner doug walking around with his uh fire extinguisher full of fucking bear mace i've already mentioned that we talk about it quite often i'm sure it'll come up again because there's lots of good shows there lots of good memories shout out to doug hopefully you're doing all right man haven't seen you in years so many times I've so many times I begged him, please, 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 Doug, don't kick me out. I'll be nice. <laughs> Oops. Then I try to sneak in a side door. He'd be like, Rob, what are you doing? Get the fuck out of here. We told you. You can come back to the next show, but not tonight. You have to leave. Like, ah, Doug. What good times there. Anyway, on with business. Tyrant is coming out with the uh re release of Welcome to Hell. January 24th. The 24th, you ask? Why? Because the 24, 24th letter of the alphabet is X, which means straight edge. Shout out to everybody who's ever been in Tyrant. And shout out to anybody who had anything to do with Tyrant. One of the biggest and hardest bands out of Detroit. Moving forward, this episode in Bloody Knuckle Combat, two Of my dudes from Bloody Knuckle Combat, Aztec, the Barfly, a.k.a. Rick, and then Jam. Don't know if he wants his real name said. It might be said in the episode, but sorry, buddy. Jam, we'll call him Jam for now. He's a fucking hooligan. Lots of good stories, you know, crazy tour stories. We talk about the uh, Detroit scene and, you know, the chaos. We got pretty buzzed this episode, so it might be noticeable. (laughs) We talk about chaos, and um, they had a reunion a few years ago, maybe 2012, 2013, at um, uh, Motor City Fest, ran by Critter. Shout out to Critter as well. 
Hopefully talking to him soon. He's got lots of good stories as well. And anti up his band. Holy shit, they're fucking heavy. But anyway. Bloody Knuckle Combat. BKC. Rat to tat tat. If you don't know, check this shit out on YouTube. All of their albums are there. They are currently um, not a band, but we talked about them getting together again. And the only way they can do that is if they have a drummer, from what I remember of the conversation. I don't know if they want this out there. If they want a drummer, they'll get one. Anybody who's a drummer and wants to drum in a heavy band, hit me up or go after them on Instagram. If you don't know their handles, ask me and I will ask them if it is okay for you to hit them up if you're interested or if they're even interested in could have been just some shit talking, but that needs to happen regardless. After this whole fucking pandemic, I think a lot of bands will hopefully reform and get the shit going again the way it used to. Even I'm not saying it's bad, but there was a lot more bands. There used to be a lot of bands. And everybody who's doing it t- today and carrying the torch and doing what's right for hardcore, fucking props to you because a lot of people have taken years off and missed shows and not supported it to the way they should have guilty uh so hopefully a lot of people will just do what's right and come back come back like peter pan when he realized he could fly and shit so anyway there's no video on this podcast because You know, some people have occupations that may or may not have an issue with, you know, what we did on the podcast. So, there's no video, and like I said, if you want to hear some Bloody Knuckle Combat, go on YouTube. I'll put a link up in the description or whatever I'm supposed to do. Still working on it. This is all new to me. Holla at your boy. Check, check, check. Check, check, check. Right, I'm so confused with you guys here. Man. What the fuck am I doing in my life? I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm no fucking broadcaster. Just drink it. Of course you're confused because this is a fucking BKC podcast. Oh, in the yeah. fucking house. Yeah. It's your big Rick and Jam. What up, what up? the bar fly. <laughs> yeah, man. Jam what about it, boys? Hip hop extraordinaire from Detroit. But I'm just here to talk and shit about, you know, hardcore and whatever else. That's how I met you guys. But, um... Let's go ahead and say, Rick, how'd you get into hardcore, man? You've been around a long ass time. Was it hip hop or hardcore first? Uh, to be honest, it was uh, it was it was hip hop. Um, not to be too cliche, but I mean, just being you know being real. Um, my brother's six years older than me, right? So he was like on tip with everything already that was already there, right? So you know, six years ahead of me, he's in high school. I'm you know underling of him and i'm sneaking into his room at night when he's gone taking his tapes you know i mean i think like the first shits were like you know like i mean seriously run dmc you know what i'm saying license to ill shit like that but um you know transitioning into that you know i think everybody in my neighborhood wanted to be a rapper kind of thing you know like you just wanted to emulate what you heard and what you loved um but you know moving on and <clears throat> as messages got like more progressive and you know, like, I mean, shit, who didn't wait, stay up for a fucking headbanger's ball, right? You know right, what I right. mean? Like, right, right. It, it seemed like a lot of the, the, the music was, like, fusing together, you know? And, like, again, not being from New York and not seeing the evolution of that and the birth of a lot of that shit, you know what I'm saying? A lot of that is, it's the same angst, the same feeling type shit, right? It's all in the same vein, the same root. Um, so, in middle school, <clears throat> I met Mike Cools, man. He came... He transferred over to my school. Um, I think it was sixth, fifth, or sixth grade. I'm not sure. You know, over from from Wyandotte and shit, and you know that's when he was starting like Placenta and you know Garage Bands. I was like, mm-hmm. what the fuck is this shit, man? Right? Yo, this shit fucking shreds. Like, what is right. this? You know what yeah. I mean? Like, I, I wouldn't really call Placenta a Garage Band, but nah, I, nah, I get no, what you're saying. No, no, I mean they started like <laughs> in, in a garage, right? You know right. what I'm saying? Like, goddamn, right? Yeah. And um, like literally, so. So again, seeing that and like me, like, you know, taking like him 
you know, some like Ice Cube records or like fucking Ice T and like him showing me fucking Slayer and shit, you know, and like my mom yelling at me like, what the fuck is this Slayer thing in this house? You know what I mean? Like uh, yeah. Rain and Blood and shit. I'm like, this so, is it. This is the same thing. Devil music. So you guys were introducing each other to exactly. different styles of music. Exactly. So, but, you know, so. But sure. they meshed well. Yeah. yeah. It was the same shit, right? Yeah. And so then like, you know, and then like. I don't know, some of the cats I was hanging out with over, like, in Allen Park were mad fucking nerdy, and they couldn't get into it. So I'm like, yo, Mike, take me out to fucking Wyandotte, you know? And then it was like, my head fucking blew up. I was like, whoa, <laughs> hold on. <laughs> it's just 10 minutes away, but it feels right. like light years, right? Right. And uh, <laughs> right. it's like this whole other culture that Bro, you've never like, been exposed to. A bunch like, of Polacks. I can't, nah, I like, can't believe that this this craziness right here exists. You know what I'm saying? Like, 10 minutes away from me. And somebody, right? somebody like, like, willingly dropped us off here to just explore. Right. You know, so that's when I let, met, like, met Garrett and Jamin and, you know, fucking, um, god damn it, uh, Larry, you know, R.I.P. Larry. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, just, you know, growing up with that and blah, 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 and this thing's progressed, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to hurry up, sorry. Um, You're good. No, I'm good. Like, uh, so then uh, Mike and I went to the same high school for freshman year. After we went to grade school, you know what I'm saying? We went to Aquinas our freshman year. I got kicked out for some stupid fighting bullshit. And then uh, we all did right. <laughs> That's stayed. kind of like a prereq. Yeah, right? like, hey, <laughs> prereq to life. Did you get kicked out of a school freshman year? Hell yeah, yeah. you're perfect. You're for doing the job, it right. right. You'll fit right in, bro. <laughs> right. And uh, so then he stuck around, but like you know, we were like we were real, real tight, man. <clears throat> and so like in high school, I think it was tenth or eleventh grade. I'm not sure, but we we're both like sixteen. And you know, we're still hanging out. And you know, his dad passed. R.I.P. Greg. Greg used to fucking pick us up, man, and take us to, like, haunted houses when we were little kids, B. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, we were brothers, man. Like, you know? Um, but anyways, I digress. So he gets a call from Cold as Life. You know what I mean? To play bass and shit. And, like, I was kind of hip. You know what I'm saying? Because he had showed me, like. What year was this? It's for me. Again, like, I think, I think, I think Google was 16 or 17. Okay. When he got called in. And. And I was like, yo, this is wild, right? And blah, 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 blah. And like right after high school, you know, I think uh, I think it was right after that. Um, is when Born to Land Hard Drop. Was that 99? 98, 97. 98, so, somewhere yeah, around yeah, there. Somewhere. Yeah, just somewhere around there. I'm sorry, you know, it gets hazy. But, um, but yeah, so the whole time I'm rhyming, I'm doing this, you know what I'm saying? Going to like uh, Southwest Detroit shit, going to like the GI Forum and doing these like uh, open mics and... And just trying to get on, you know what I'm right. saying? Like trying to do shit and kind of per perfect, you know, perfecting your yeah, craft. Yeah, exactly, man. Honing, like, honing the knife. So but if you speak. remember, like, you know what I'm saying? Like back then, motherfuckers really were like, like, like in hood areas weren't really talking about like bars and like real like, mm -hmm. you know. But meanwhile, I'm listening to like Black Moon and and Special Ed and fucking you know DOS Effects and shit like that. And I'm like, you know, I want to like I want beats to sound like this. You know what I mean? Not so much of like that Southwest like. Freestyle fucking Stevie B shit everybody's mm -hmm. rhyming on over there. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, no, like, give me a fucking snare. You know what I'm right, saying? Yeah. Like, I want that snare to pull somebody's fucking collarbone off. Right. <laughs> and, and like yeah, the shit I was. That, that East, East Coast hitter. Yeah, right. that's right. man. But like, New the, York the, for that. The shit yeah. I was hearing, like, <laughs> the shit I was hearing, and like, you know, in, in metal and fucking in thrash and hardcore and shit, man. And like, and I was like, damn. I remember when I fucking first heard um, Bulldoze. I had a fucking demo, and it was a four-song demo, and I heard this shit, and I'm like, I don't, what? What? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hold on. Like, wait a minute, hold on. There's like- Stop the fucking tape. Seriously. What is that? Rewind that. Nasty Rewind shit, that. Man. No, so, so like, it was like, so it's playing, right? It already starts off like, bam, bam, ch -ch 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 bam, bam, <laughs> right? And so then like, whatever, the guy does a verse, and then like, and then it just goes- Bang, bang, sh 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 you know, you're like, oh my God, what's happening right now? This sounds dope. I'm like, I'm going to sample this. I want to do something, right? And right. like, then like the next hook, and there's like, bang, bang, sh 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 you know, you're like, what yeah. the fuck, man? So like, were you doing samples back then? Like, were you like looping stuff? And, like, I was, uh, I had producers that were doing it, man, and I was infatuated with it. Mm. I just, I, at that point, I think I was too young. I couldn't wrap my brain around. Remember when I got the Paul's Boutique record? I went to Harmony House on Dicks. Tel on Telegraph? On Dicks. Oh, okay. In Liga Park. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah, my big boy. Yeah, yeah. Emil <laughs> Emilio, shout out to Cancer. Emilio worked there. <laughs> telepath math. Yeah. Um, he worked there and shit. And, like, I remember just, like, I was like, whoa. Like, whoa. What the fuck? You know what I mean? Like, 
how are they how how i remember being a little kid thinking how are they having these bands these groups in this how are they but didn't understand yeah. like a, what a sample was you know what i mean right so anyways man going through it just going through it, persistent boom 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 and like with anything you learn it's it's like respect is hard to earn and that's something you had to learn you know with anything For with sure. fucking anything um yeah. So especially in the underground, culture. especially especially in the underground, yeah. especially in you know a city like Detroit, man, real fucking gritty, and looking up to like, you know, some of these guys, man, like at, at these fucking open mics was just, I mean, you're just like, wow, not like on some like you know some dumb shit, but you're like, these are the gods, man, like right. Slum Village, fucking, you know, like being able to actually see Jay Dilla rock. I saw him, I saw him twice. Second time I saw him, the Wired Frog, you know, he was in his wheelchair already. Like, mm -hmm. But, like, just seeing these things, man. Rocket shows with Batin at Alvin's. You know, wow. Like, and then two weeks later, you know, there's a hardcore show at Alvin's we're doing. You know, and like, whatever. Right. Like, that was, that was a crazy time. Like, that was a real crazy time. So, but, I mean, you could compare it to, and not to cut you off. No, 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 no. Not, not, like, the, the way that you were looking at them, same feeling, like, with your first hardcore shows. Unbelievable. Unbelievable, man! You know, like the two are very parallel. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, so like, yeah, it's a weird environment to be yeah, in. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. And, and like, but, but you it's know, it's just what? the feeling that it gives you is what I mean. What I mean, yeah, it's you, like, you know, yeah, it's a rush. Like, yeah. what the fuck am I doing here? So yeah, you, yeah. <laughs> yeah. am I supposed to be here? Like, so you know what? <laughs> what the if, fuck? If, if I can jump off that, you know what was funny is, um, my introduction, like, into really actually getting into, like some headbuster shit with like hip hop, like took. Your own groundwork and your own this and own, you know, blah, 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 blah. And the difference I saw that in hardcore, right? So, again, Mike and I were so close. And, like, me being just around, you know, Cold as Life and CTYC and them guys. And, like, just watching them move and, and, and understanding, you know, respect and seeing what it is and just how characters move and how they right. operate. exactly. So, like... Don't speak unless spoken to. You know what I'm saying? Type, type shit. But like, yeah. but it's like yeah. um, sometimes, man. Yeah. You know, like yeah. one of the like one of the first shows like I really really went to was it's called his life, all out war, blood for blood, at the Dude. stick. Are you fucking kidding think me? about that for uh, a second. No, no, no. Listen, let's think like, about that lineup. Stick. That lineup, yo. So and, like, and, imagine if that a show like that got released. How today. old were you, though? I mean, just for again, perspective. I, I, I don't think I was 21. Maybe maybe okay. 19, 20. Right, right, right. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I show up with Mike and, like, and again, you know, mad young, just, like, drinking to the stick, whatever, fuck, you know. Yeah. Saying what up to everybody because I just met him, I don't know, the weekend before when mm -hmm. I right. crashed on, the, on <laughs> yeah. the couch and shit. Right. And, um, like, like hanging out with, like, like at the crib before the show, before we all platoon there, yeah. like, hanging out with, like, Mike Score and, like, listening and, like, I listened to your record. For the last month straight, motherfucker. Like, you know what I mean? Right, like, right, right. Or like, or like listening, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, and like, Bluff or Bud, you know what I'm saying? Like, like Buddha and them, like, That's fucking yeah. You know, you know, rest in peace. But and like, un, like, unreal. I, I remember that night, actually, um, so long ago, uh, the drummer, Bluff or Bud, was so drunk, or slash, like, just heat, exhaustion, or whatever, mm -hmm. puked right in the middle of the set. You know what I'm saying? Like, we, we thought it was Kept over. Going. Kept going. I'm like, Son keep of it a moving. Bitch, Get another man. beer. Hard motherfuckers, man. We had uh, um, there was. I think what you're saying is the fact that it's like you can listen to these these records, whether it's hip hop or hardcore, that you that you're just it blows your mind, and then you can actually go and see them live and hang out with them and drink with them, bro, oh. and and treat you like you're one of their boys, and like, like, and like uh, you were saying, like, bro, I've been listening to your record for like a month, like it's um, you know, not yeah, not to be it, it. It was so like it was such an underground thing. That you know it was, and it was so easily accessible to go and meet these people, so and, and let them in. You know, you get you carry influence from them when you exactly, meet them. You know what I mean? Exactly, and, and like that. I guess so. Yeah. So what I'm saying is, so with hardcore, there was way more like from what from my experience, there was way more heart, way more like brotherhood, and way more like, hey man, you're with us. You know, more mm -hmm. than like, there's not enough room. Yo, maybe next time right. type shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. That sometimes. If you're not like one of the like guys in Detroit, you know what I'm saying? As far as hip hop goes, that you know, sometimes you might not get that look. Right. Right. Or if, yeah, you're, yeah, if yeah. you're not part of somebody else's entourage, you're not exactly. so inclusive. connected exactly. to somebody yeah. else. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Right. I feel you, man. Yeah. But I mean, you know, the, I don't want to say it was like that ever really in hardcore because we were all just there for the same thing. We're all just a bu bunch of 
hooligans out yeah, there. Yeah, man. Just out there hooligans. Just, that's it. Yeah. And it was just it was it was a, just a it was a crazy time. Yeah. A crazy fucking time. You want to hear you show up, Jim? No. No, 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 no. Let's bounce back and forth. I like it. I like it. Let's go, go, go back and good. forth. So I gotta drink some Jaeger anyways. Ooh, get some Jaeger. All right, man. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. <laughs> hey, man. Oh, that's my shot glass. <laughs> Fuck. Oh well. Which one was yours? I don't know. Which, one on. Wait, 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 we got them. One on the end. They're coming. I got. I, could, I already got. I brought mine with me. Oh shit. <laughs> so remind me. Which I got beer. It's all good. Who gives a fuck? This is a goddamn right. retarded ass podcast. My we're good. Boys. We're good. We're good. I'm excited. We're gonna drop little, some gems tonight. A little nippy nip. You want some? Yeah. Oh yeah. Perfect. Thank you so much. This will work. Do your thing, brother. Oh, so, all right. So yeah. Too much. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay, Jim. Jim. Yeah, whoever. When the fuck do you show up? When yeah, the fuck did I show here. up? God I'm just sitting here like a Showed nobody. up in this motherfucker like Superman, fucking <laughs> another planet. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's what happened. <sighs> All right, yeah. In my bed, I already yeah. did it. Sancho. That's okay. I don't yeah. know. <laughs> I knew this would be a fun time. I'm fucking glad you guys came over here. Yeah, oh, yeah. hell yeah. Absolutely. I told man. you, man. I've been looking forward to this, bro. Yeah. Nah, so listen, anyway. like, and, and before we jump, that's why I had to do it because, like, I felt bad, like, you know what I'm saying, like, rescheduling again. And, like, I'm, I'm texting you, I'm like, I'm talking to Jam, and I was like, God damn it, no. <laughs> Nothing else matters, let's go. Come on. <laughs> Nothing let's else do it. Matter. I'm glad you showed up, bro. Yeah, bro. Oh, yeah. Across yeah. right right the table. I know you guys can't see it, but we just banged hands like that. <laughs> so, anyway. <clears throat> so, when did I show up? When did you show up with your fucking muscles and, and all that? <laughs> <laughs> how, how did I get into hardcore? Is yeah, that, is that yeah, pleasure? yeah, exactly. Like, where did it start for you? Were it's, you like a, were you like a punk rocker at first, or were you just, just a football player, and somehow you heard it? A bit of both. Yeah, a bit right of all, more of it was both. You know, more of one than the other, but whatever. So you know, growing up as a kid, you know, I was, I was introduced to to punk rock music. And, uh, you know, alternative type music, you know, from back in the 60s, like with the MC5. My dad mm-hmm. grew up with the MC5. You Dope. know what I mean? Iggy and Kick the Stooges. Kick out the jams, motherfucker. Iggy and the Stooges. Yeah, kick out the jams, oh. motherfucker. Get the fuck out of here, Winston. <laughs> no, I just want your dog Don't. to kick the wires and shit. Man. He's sniffing you. <laughs> Get out of here, That's you right. motherfucker. Is he going? All right. Yeah, he's he's never came down here before after all these. He's a big old rascal. He's a there. dumbass. <laughs> Go. He's just chilling. Like, give, give him a shot of Jaeger. There's a lot of beef in this basement. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you know what you gotta do? You just gotta make your Facebook ding ding. He'll run away, man. He'll be gone for three hours. I swear to God, he's retarded. It's for noises, for fireworks, and like the Facebook ding. Yeah. He's scared the shit out of him. Like, like bells on TV. He'll be tripping. That's hilarious. He's hiding. He'll go in the laundry room. Oh, here comes Honey. And dig a hole to China. That's what I say. He's fucking scratching at the ground trying to get through it. But Lord. anyways. Yeah, buddy. Jam. My bad. It's all good. <laughs> I love dogs, man. I, I really me do. Me too. It's the first time this happened. <laughs> you like dogs? <laughs> I love dogs. Honey oh. loves me too. She's a sweetie. Yeah. Geez. But anyways, like I was saying, you know, I was Post a picture introduced to- Let her know what's happening. I was introduced to the the other side of the coin, so to speak, at a young age, you know? And uh, I kind of- it, it, that, that, that set very deep with me. You know what I mean? Like- Especially you know, the political sides of things, and just the alternative idea of other than just mainstream rock and roll music you hear on the radio. A kid rock, Limp Bizkit, stupid right. shit. Right. Yeah. I mean, even back then. I mean, don't get me wrong. Yeah. I love all the other, you know, rock band, Led Zeppelin, Black mm-hmm. Sabbath. You know, it's yeah. a, but you know the the bands like MC5 and the Iggy and the Stooges really, you know, set deep with me. And and blues. I was a, I you know, I grew up listening to the blues, man. And uh, that was another huge influence on me as you, whether or not I wanted to play music, you know, especially the drums and bass came from, you know, listening to the blues, man. And uh, so my introduction going into hardcore is I was listening to all these different things and introduced to like heavy metal and, you know, thrash metal, you know, Metallica and Slayer and all this stuff. It's like I was introduced to that stuff first. And then I found hardcore. You know, the, it's actually a kind of a, a different story of how, how I found hardcore because I grew up going to church, believe it or not. Mm-hmm. Uh, me too. I think you told me that. Yeah. I grew up going to church, man. And uh, there was this guy uh, 
that introduced me like he introduced me to like christian it was it was christian hardcore uh, christian hardcore like bands like you know unashamed dude you know what i mean yeah. and focused shit like that dude and i fell in love with it man because it? It, it was so different man it was there was a production oh go ahead what were you no, no 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 no. Sorry, there, there was ahead. a production company called sunlight music and it was spelled s-o-n-l-i-g-h-t sunlight because it was through the church and they would hold um concerts you know they would hold shows you know what i mean at these different bigger churches and tabernacles and shit like that i remember seeing you know um P.O.D. That, okay, so that, Project that, 86. That's where I'm going with this. Okay, yeah, because yeah. there was some big, big, like... Yeah. Uh, was it was it Disciple? Disciple. Disciple. Like, yeah. like, that shit, like... I remember, like, uh, when I was in, like, my first band, like, Jesse and them, they used to show me all these bands, like, what? Christian, what? Yeah, like, yes, Christian hardcore, dude. This is crazy. Dude, some of the most violent shows I've ever Seriously. been to. Seriously. That's you know crazy, what I mean? it was It was wild. I mean, it, like... <laughs> But, like, the message was so strong because everyone was there for the same. And that's what I think, I honestly, I think that's what really turned me on to hardcore was even though, you know, the message was everyone was so into the, what the message was at that show. And, and it was, it was it revolved around God and the church and this and exactly. that. Exactly. You know, it, it's like, it, but everyone was like, it was, it was like being at you, the most craziest hardcore show you could think of. But, Everyone, though, everyone was the message was about God, right? Right. So that transferred into, you know, once you know, I grew up a little bit because I was only like fourteen years right, old. Right, right. You know what I mean? I was only like maybe thirteen, fourteen, and then I found out about like the hardcore scene in Detroit. So I was like, well, this is these guys are around here, you know. Yeah. What I mean? So it's like I'm gonna I'm gonna get out there. This is ninety three, ninety four. You know what I mean? And I was like, I'm gonna get out there. And how try old are you? Let me ask. How the fuck old are you? Forty. I just turned forty. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, I'm like 34, 35. Young boy. I thought you were like my age. Young boy. I'm thirty three. So forty one over here, bro. Are you, huh? you motherfucker? Uh, so you're forty one. Older, yeah. but I don't are know. When was it? Yeah, see, man, I'm just a little bit younger July, than you guys. You know, you guys. June. <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy. So, anyways, got into the hardcore scene. As I got older, my my uh built-in rebellious spirit took over <laughs> and uh you know i just ran with it man i was like and i i fell in love with it dude seeing bands like placenta cold as life you know it's like i i couldn't get enough i couldn't get enough of it because it wasn't it was almost like a it felt like a secret society kind of yeah. thing like handmade flyers yeah you know what i mean mm-hmm. like diy production exactly. like, yeah. like piecing you know uh instruments together amps and shit trying to get a pa just to put on a fucking yeah. show and but the emotion yeah. once once everything got all the pieces got put together whether that all of them were there or not and like hey, the emotion right and as soon as the lights go i guess and you go hey yo we're <laughs> yeah Dude, you know, somebody's just, dead. It was, it was like it was like the beginning of a car accident. It's fucking scary, you know what dude. Like, what the fuck is happening right now? Oh, yeah. And yeah. just the emotion that everyone shared it is because everyone felt like, oh, just God, like at my, my heart going now. Yeah, just like at the shows that I grew up, grew up. You know, my introduction to hardcore at the Christian shows, like it was the same thing, dude. But he, like, tuned up. You know, oh, yeah. a level or two. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Oh yeah. So, and I, I fell in love with it, man. It, it, it wasn't, you know, like going to the fucking Joe Louis Arena to see fucking Bob Seger. Right. Or fucking, you know. Ted Nugent or, or shit. Ted Nugent yeah. or whatever. Like, this is like this secret society feeling. When, you know, I was a kid. You know what I mean? It was just that feeling that this is fucking one of the most intense things I've ever fucking seen in my life. Mm-hmm. And nobody knows about it but the people that are in this room right now. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. You know, and it wasn't like you, you weren't hand selected. It wasn't like, you know. But like he's saying, it's like it's like if you knew, you knew. Right. You were led right. there by somebody. Bro, you, you know, know the there. most part. You know what, somebody, look, somebody, somebody, homie told you about it. And you're yeah. like, yo. You know what? Let, let scary it. shit when you're young. You know, how old were you guys? Like 16, like 15, 16 when we first started showing up, though, for real? Yeah, about 15. Yeah. 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 But yeah. that age, seen a bunch of grown men fucking slam each other. Oh, it was scary, dude. Punching you know people I mean? and I mean, shit. Even though I was a big yeah. kid. Like, you know I was a 15-year-old big kid. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. When you know? I showed up, like, you guys you were out there fucking shit up. You know, I showed up to see the grown-ass men. So, I'm 33. You guys are 40, nah, but 41. Even, so even then, years old, even though, then right? we were second generation. Yeah, right? yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. fucking scary because I was into, like, I mean, like punk fucking rock and the casualties well, and shit. Some kids right now. Oh, no, <laughs> fuck, yeah. <laughs> uh, yo, yeah. Nothing, yo. Nothing you know, to like it. Kids now, you know, you see them, like, they don't punch nobody that they don't know. <laughs> 
<laughs> like right, right, right. <laughs> well, I mean, that's kind of how it was back then too. It's like you, you know, the guys that that were known, you know, yeah, you could you could put hands on somebody and, and you know while you're dancing or pitting, but guys like us, yeah. like you know, the next gener- generation that was coming mm-hmm. up, like we were eager out there, ready to get down. Yeah, you know what I mean. But you make one wrong move. Oh yeah, you're swarmed. and you're dude, you're getting mollywops, son. <laughs> yeah. You're getting you're getting yeah. pieced up. Yeah, it's all respect. And, but the thing yeah. is, all right, so. Lenny actually told me this one day, and it makes it made this is one of the truest things I've ever heard. It makes the most sense I've ever of any statement I've ever heard in my life. What? Did I need your shot glass? <laughs> Go ahead, make it so your own. Pour you. No, yeah. you don't choose. This is the statement. You don't choose hardcore. Hardcore chooses you. Nice. I agree. And if you get it, if if you get it, you get it. If you don't, you don't. You know what I mean? Yeah, that makes sense, man. That's crazy. Hardcore chooses you because it's not for everybody. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's kind of like a. But those that know, they know. Yeah, they know. Those that don't, if you don't know, you probably don't want to. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's a scary <laughs> want... place, man. You know, well, I used to be when you first started showing up. I was like sixteen, seventeen. I started going like punk rock shows, like uh, you know, the Casualties and uh, Dropkick Murphys yep, and shit yep, like that. Yep, you know, that's yep. where I started. I out. love those bands. Hell yeah! <laughs> but see, that was like my roots, though. Like, so saying, you like know, other people OG started. Shit. Yeah, and and just from there, it sort of uh, progressed into like like uh, you know, screamo type shit. You know, yep. like a static yeah. lullaby, the blend. Yep. yep. Yeah. So I took a different route just because that's what I, I was influenced like by my friends. You know, that's what they were listening to. But until up, you know, I started, you know, listening to like some sort of, like, so you know, metalcore, and then I seen uh, Bleeding Through played at the shelter one time. Yeah. And um, uh, and that was it. Wait, was that Let It Die opened? That, oh shit! Yeah. That's what was it. Was, was that on Halloween it. night? I think. It's, I believe it was, so. It was like Could've a matinee been. type show. Yeah, like two thousand. Four, because all my blood played that show too. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shit, yeah. shit, man. Were you yeah. in all my blood? God damn, yeah. I was the bass player. I thought it was. I thought it was. God damn it, I was at that show. <laughs> See? See, I was so young though oh, that yeah, I was probably. 16, Remember that little, that you know? little Atari looking fucking uh, all my blood shirt you guys had? Little bitch ass red yeah. stripe with the little ninja on the side. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that was our that first man. shirt. That yeah. was our yeah. first shirt, funny, yeah. dude. Yeah. That shit was so yeah. hard though. Yeah, I, I was yeah. there. Yeah. yeah, but then you know I just I was like, this is where the fuck it is. You know, like the yeah. breakdowns of people smashing each other and shit. You know, rather than like stinky punk rock kids, yeah. oh, you know, right. pushing out their mohawk poking in your eye and right. shit. Like, get the fuck out of here with that crust punk dandruff all over you. like yeah, with your fucking spiky jacket. Fuck Looking at themselves smoking you cigarettes dirty in the mail. Assholes. Like, yeah. 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 We're Chuck Taylors. Fuck Would you. Would you fuck me? Yeah. yeah you're the fuck they literally go into the bathroom and fucking puke his shit all over the floor yeah. just so they can have oh, a backdrop sm- to shit. take a picture yeah, in front of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but, you know, but, you know, so. <laughs> right. <laughs> I don't throw up on their shoes on purpose. Yeah. <laughs> what the hey, fuck? Hey, where's the, where's the lie, bro? There's no lie. Yeah. But, you know, that's where it all started for me. Like, Seemed like hardcore dancing was like that show. Like, oh, what the fuck are these people doing, yeah, man? Yeah, yeah, Acting yeah. crazy, fucking hitting each other. See blood. Someone got beat up for no reason and shit. I was yeah, like, right. this is what I'm talking. About. <laughs> Dude, just as you look different. One you of know. my first uh, like exp- experiences introduced to like Detroit style like dancing and shit. You know, I've, I've already been introduced to it within the hardcore scene, but it's like it wasn't anywhere as vicious as it is. Outside of like uh, the you know the Christian hardcore, scene. right? It's violent. It's it's similar. You know what I mean? But it, there's a there's a there's a lot more hugs. So let's put it that oh, way. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's like sorry for hitting you, bro. Let me give you a hug. You know what I mean? <laughs> so I was at Harpo's and uh oh man, <laughs> oh, yeah, I love that fucking listen, place, bro. Yeah, bro. My first know. bouncing gig was ever. I don't even know if we can say like. Harpo's is anything other than Harpo's. Like, it's Harpo's. not Detroit. It's just Harpo's. Harpo's right. is crazy, dude. And so you go to Harpo's, you can't get COVID, just so you know. Right. <laughs> you can get every fucking thing else. <laughs> You're immune to everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. AIDS, you cancer, get... fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, Harpo's hasn't been open for so long. Like you said, it's like, you, you can go to Harpo's, you won't get COVID, but you'll catch every fucking thing <laughs> else. STDs. <laughs> yeah. Fuck it. Who cares? Bro, what I have seen to? some nasty shit happen at Harpo's, bro. Uh, shit that I'm not even going to mention. Harpo's is just. Well, on the east line. side of Detroit in the shittiest fucking That's where I work. Harper 94. I yeah. do, dude, I go to a gas station right down Let's the street up. from there every day to get broccoli and cheddar <laughs> soup. Get that white castle. From a fucking subway. Every morning. <laughs> hey, you know, hey. 
You're good. Got bulletproof man for that glass shit. at the register and shit. Yeah. I can appreciate huh? you a little more for that. I appreciate you. Yeah. You actually ate soup out of a. No, it's a, it's a subway. I mean, it's East a subway. No, but subway. I'm saying, but like everybody needs some broccoli and cheese soup in their life. You know what I'm saying? Like, what I do love we do? It. I mean, am I the only? I mean, I got some upstairs. I love it. I love it. It's dude. my favorite. I'll stuff. eat it. Every, dude. I just didn't think if it I would make its sushi? way to this interview. I love that. <laughs> yeah. I love that. We talk about what anyways, anyways, broccoli soup. I was at a show. <laughs> my introduction to fucking Detroit hard, hard like, and it, it it was vegan straight edge. Uh, uh oh, hardcore dance. It was, I believe I think, Bi- I, might know I think I might know where this is going. Biohazard was playing, right? And I, I don't remember who else was on the bill, but I do know Biohazard was playing because Biohazard used to play at Harpo's shit. at least once a month. So hold on, I was going to say, make some noise <laughs> if you've ever seen Biohazard at Harpo's. Yeah, Biohazard at Fear I said, Factory. Baby, yeah, fuck it. I, that, that's so I listened to Fear Factory before punk rock right. because the Ozfest CDs. You know, they used to make those yeah. live Ozfest CDs had like oh. Sepultura yep. and um, El Nino, Fear Factory, all nice. that shit. El Nino, yeah. That's I started for obsolete. Dun, 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 oh, dun, dude, obsolete was a shit. Double double bass, son. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> man, right. Remanufactured. <laughs> what the fuck? That's a good fuck shit. Fear Factory. So but, then, so I'm we're, I'm down there in the pit dancing, dude. I'm, and I'm, I mean, if I'm, my memory serves me correctly, uh, I think Biohazard was on, dude. And all of a sudden, these kids, we're down there doing, you know, dancing, fucking. You know, doing our thing, whatever. And push like, each other. I, I, it, 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 I mean, you know, it was a harpo pit. It was a push pit. Right. So yeah. I'm down there trying to dance. You know, so you're da- not kicking. You're dance. not swinging. You're not I, skanking. I was. Your skinheads I take was. over at harpo. Yeah, exa- exactly, <laughs> yeah. bro. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I was like seven feet tall, motherfucker. Sure, but it's like every time I, you know, I threw a fucking back fist. Oh, yeah, cool. <laughs> so, somebody's right there catching it and right. like and shoving it, you. It turns into a, you know, a, you know, a fight. Yeah. Next thing I know, like five dudes. I don't know. To this day, I wish I could see their faces because I probably knew or know who they are. <laughs> you know what I mean? But I just didn't know them then, right? Dude, black hoodies, masks on their face. Shut up. Dude. I'm, oh, they got the, the fucking the, bandanas? Yeah. Oh, yeah. On the back of their fucking- <laughs> You know them, Rob? On the, no. On the, no, I just no. remember when I showed Hold up at that shit. On the back of their hood. I don't know. I don't know when I showed up there wearing that shit. When they had their hood down, it just said straight edge, like down the mm. spine- of oh, the no. hoodie. As soon as they put the hoodie up, it said vegan on the hood. Ooh. Vegan stretch. Dude, they got fucking spiked gloves on. You know what I mean? These little skinny motherfuckers, right? Whoa. Just down there in the pit, just fucking just going kicks crazy. I killing was just people. Like, no, literally killing people. Yeah, I mean, trying to. Yeah, I was just like, do they got spikes on their shoes too? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> right. Is that the singer from DSI? <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> Jesus. So, you never found out who that was? No man, I mean, dude, this was back. The in, like, straightest 90s thing, like you never and... asked, like anybody, like hey. I mean, who? I mean, it, it would be kind of hard to try and you know put you know put a thumb down on who would actually. No, was. but I'm saying like a crew back then, like that would run like that. All it said was there was no, you know, it wasn't like uh, you know a courage crew or whatever. They, they, they were claiming dudes. They weren't claiming anything because the only thing that was on their hoodie was like the vegan on the back of their hoodie when they or on their hood when they put the hood up and then down the spine of the actual sweatshirt. Just said straight edge. No kidding. Yeah. I don't remember seeing any like vegan people like back in my day, like repping vegan. You know, they do now on Instagram. It's their oh, bio. It's vegan, back, XVX, everybody. Back then, dude, like with that, it was fucking heavy back then with the yeah. ALF and all those fucking, yeah. all those. Uh, remember the straight edge. Anarchists you know? out in Portland and shit. Oh, yeah. All these motherfuckers that are fucking going crazy right now out in Portland. <laughs> no, the are, Antifa are, people? Are, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Are the <laughs> fucking children. Of those anarchists from back then, I Duh. guarantee it, dude. I guarantee Crazy fucking people. it. They're the children burning from, from shit down, taking over police then. stations. So we're staying away from politics in this, right? <laughs> sure, I don't give a fuck. So hold on, wait, wait. You say whatever you want. No, no, no. Um, talking about harpos. To Antifa. To yeah. Fuck off. No, 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 no. Fuck. God damn it. Um, I remember. Uh, so raise your hand if you've been to an ICB show. Right. There you go. Tons of it, right? Uh, they work on listen. They used to have this um, this funny little like little dickhead crew that would run around trying to like beat people up. They were called the felons. You guys ever see that? Nah, I knew about the juggalos, but not the no, <laughs> no, no, no. The juggalos <laughs> was everybody, right? Right, right. But there was like a crew like within that. They were like, hey man, for real, fucking right, right, right. Like tough. No, no. 
It's like tough dudes. juggalos. They're like, yeah. I, like the ICP goon squad. With like a like, juggalo you couldn't ish, beat up? Ish, right? Like right. maybe like, you know, some juggalo of the guys you couldn't beat a bunch up? Of, like a bunch of steroids and shit, right? So they would Damn. come down like in the pit every now and then and blah, 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 right? So again, as, as, as Jam said, like, you know, you get your stripes and, you know, you get a, a fucking few scars and black eyes at a couple of Detroit hardcore shows, man. You don't really fucking give a shit about anything anywhere. Nah. Right? You're right. So, you're, right. you're right. You know, I mean, not like that. Like, oh, I don't want to lose my life. I'm talking about like at a show, like yeah, yeah. moshing and shit, right? So I'm at the show, and again, at Harpo's, <laughs> <laughs> lo and behold, right? And uh, it's some ICP show. You know what I'm saying? Like, I grew up listening to ICP. Like, you know what I'm saying? Those motherfuckers are wild. They did their first show with Cold as Life. You know, whatever. Yeah. Um. So I'm at this show, and I see these dudes like walking around, and like you said, like. They were, like, hooded up. Yeah. And, like, they all, like, their hoods said something. And I was like, eh, that's kind of annoying, right? <laughs> Full beer in my hand. You remember Harpo's $8 beers? Oh, yeah. Well, no, not back then. Now, but you might remember the- How much? $8 headbangers? I don't even think the headbangers were that much back really? then. Really? Yeah. I don't know. I I, to, you, I to, you know what the headbanger is, right? I remember the headbanger, man. Well, listen, I used to the buy Super Tequila Sunrise. On yeah, yeah, yeah. Sunrise and Sunset. Yeah, it, it, it's some <laughs> chick with tits on the hair to give it to you, right? Yeah. It's the worst place in the well, fucking wait, world. Dude, I yeah. drink that. That's the worst <laughs> place was, in the world. Just fuck that. When record. you're 15 years old, it's awesome. Smoking, yeah, <laughs> smoking weed, yeah, cigarettes, yes. hey. slamming pitchers of beer. Yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just get a so, pitcher, like fucking. Like, like me and my yeah. cousin, you know. So you what I'm walk up and get a beer. Like, I'm sneaking what the my fuck cousin in there. We're right. going to see like fucking God forbid. Anyway, yeah. yeah so listen, so listen. So I'm seeing, like, I see these dudes. I'm like, eh, it's not really believable. You know what I mean? But like, whatever, not my business. Right, throw a beer on one of the guys, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> not my business. So I go walk back up like to the bar, right? I'm gonna go get a beer. No. <laughs> oh, so you threw the beer in the well, Yeah, it wasn't my business. <laughs> no, shoves me right. All right, then. Me- remember our jeans were a little bit baggier back then? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? They were a lot, like, were a lot of bit baggier. You can move a little bit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Your nuts were on your leg, right? Right. It was so, like wearing a gi all the time. Yeah, like a denim gi. <laughs> With a, not 200 a denim pounds of <laughs> denim. 200 pounds of gi. Okay, yes. Hold on, let me get past that. Um, <laughs> so, like, your man, like, he shoves me, you know what I'm saying? It's one of those, like, like fake, like, fake around, you know what I'm saying? I turn around, right. I'm, like, I'm like, how many are there, yeah. you know? Yeah, what about it, bro? <laughs> like, three dudes. I'm like, yeah, okay, whatever. And, uh... But again, like the cats I'm with, again, I'm at an ICP show. Right. I'm like ready. Was it to... Halloween? Halloween? No, no, no. It wasn't Halloween. Wicked. It was like, uh, I think it was like a December show. But like, I'm like I'm ready to go. Right. I look back and Jay, if you can mute this part somehow. I look like John Don. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. <laughs> you can just... turn it up. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm just saying like, I mean, just remember that part. Uh, not the most, you know what I'm saying? Dudes of like the dudes, right. and uh, so I'm just sitting here, just yanging, ha, ha, ha. Right. and the guy's like, man, <laughs> woofing at him, right, yeah, yeah, talking shit, and like, and the guy bombs. steps up, and he's like, what, 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 I'm like, pong, <laughs> right, just fucking shovel pee. hook, pong, Bye-ya! pong, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> like, and like, so the guy like goes to him, and they were moving and shit, music's not even playing, the lights go up, we all get fucking thrown out, I'm like, how'd that show go, <laughs> <laughs> you know, like. So anyways, I ended up seeing one of them dudes, wrap-up story, one of them dudes, like, a little bit later, uh, we opened up for ICP, uh, Joe and I. My, my old, my, my old guy, yeah. not, not Joe High, but from uh, Rising Suns. Oh, okay. I um, forgot about Rising Suns. Yeah, man. Damn. A lot of people old. did. That's old. That's old. And uh, <clears throat> we opened up for them at the first fucking, uh, what's it called? What's up? Juggalo, what's that Juggalo Fest shit? Uh, the gathering? The gathering. gathering of the juggalo. The first gathering. It was at, it was at the Novi Expo Center. The oh. first one. <laughs> we fucking opened up for them. Oh, no thanks. Yeah, man. And uh, listen, it, it was like right when they had that beef with uh, M. M. Yeah, 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 yeah. So oh, when they got slapped in that parking lot and Warren. <laughs> yeah, shot up. Paintball guns. Same shit. shit. Word up. Yeah, same shit. So we're on this Novi, like, huge stage, right? We're opening in. And we're doing a song, and I'm like, yo, DJ, cut it. I'm like, where are all our Eminem fans at? 
Dude, and there's like seven million kids that are going like this. <gasps> right? I'm like, hell yeah. Right? So we have tapes and CDs. Dude, and I'm flinging. I'm hitting everybody I can. Like, you know how you're fighting zombies? You kill the ones that are in front? Yeah. I'm right. hitting all of them, like right in the face. Like this. It's like, <laughs> just, <laughs> throw, it's like throwing cards, dude. I, I, got, oh, re- I get really good at throwing cards. It's like the same thing. Like, like Gambit. <laughs> <laughs> Gambit. <laughs> Gambit. Yes. Yeah, I used yeah. to throw Flinging cards tapes. in my basement. I was five, like Gambit. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So that was that. Anyways, I'm sorry. We, we derailed. Let's um. Who gives a fuck? So, you're throwing the tapes. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm saying let, let's move into some other shit. Let's let's talk about so how BKC started. BKC. Yeah. Well, how did you guys Ooh. meet? Just from hardcore shows, obviously. But right. you know, just having to bump into each other. You know, every fucking show you guys. So like were you said, at? no. He was all my blood. Right? Okay, okay, so yeah, all my blood. Hold on, hold, when did all my blood start? Because I remember seeing you guys with um, uh, CDC and the Alliance at Floyd's Bar up here in Lincoln Park. That was that my, was like two thousand five, two thousand four, maybe. That was my first show with them. No shit. Yeah. You know okay. who did that show? Yeah. I think that was actually the band. Oh, was it show. Uh, Justin Polum or no? No, mm-hmm. was it Justin? Was it that was, he? Justin used to do the shows there. Like, yeah. Yeah. Towards the end. Yeah. I, I don't know whose show it was. It, oh, you know what? I think it might have been Wiener's. Well, what was his booking shit called? Because I was fucking been trying to think of it. Uh, it before was... he started working for Ramona. The off I, track, but who gives a fuck? Nah, no. we're on track. Yeah. No, no, it's all it's, it's all important. It's, it's all relative, yeah, you know. Yeah. Um, because I was trying to think of it. Oh, fuck. For the longest time. Chris I can't Spear, remember. Wiener, yeah. what the fuck? Chris Beer. Shout pizza. out to Chris Beer. I don't know. Wiener. The pizza man. <laughs> yeah. Chris Beer is yeah, the pizza man. I went you... to high school with that kid, dude. I went to elementary school with with, uh, with Wiener? Chris. Yeah, hell yeah. Really? Hell yeah. I've yeah. known that kid damn near my whole life. <sighs> Shout out to Chris. Because you go yeah. back on MySpace. I was looking for flyers and shit, you know, just a post or whatever. And because you can go back on MySpace, all the Black Iris posters or uh, flyers are still there. Back on MySpace, you know what I'm saying? So you can go to, like the Tyrants, fucking mm-hmm. MySpace and shit like that. Yeah, yeah. And I was trying to think of his MySpace. Name. Yeah, like it, now it's still today. It's still there, dude. You go to your MySpace. I thought they shut the whole damn thing down. It's still there because I looked at mine from like 2000. I can't two, even for real? imagine what God. my password is. Oh, still there. Space. Dude, st- well, there look, are so many pictures from that I don't know my that password. I, that I want from back then, from back in the day, dude. <laughs> no, you can find it, for sure. Like, from like around that time? Yeah. Oh, dude, there were so many fucking pictures, dude. And we have, we, dude, we have probably 550 to yeah. 100. Yeah, yeah, all the good BKC flyers fucking... and posters and pictures and oh, whatever Oh, my else. God, dude. So how'd you... So your first show was... A, so With all, all my blood. That? Hold on. Yeah. Cut back. So... 99, again, like right around there, right? I jump into this fucking band with uh, a couple of my homies. And they were like, um, it's kind of like a, not, I'm not going to say like a generic, like a generic Rage Against the Machine, but like same kind of thing, same kind of vibe. You know what I'm saying? Like, but um, good message and shit, right? Well, they were getting rid of their singer because, you know, whatever, personal reasons. And so I, I went and auditioned. I just, I, I wrote some shit in the spot. I wrote, I wrote some bars. Wrote, uh, what do you need? Wrote, 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 you know, wrote a hook and da, 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 whatever, right? Going through it. Band was called Low Life. And. Yeah, buddy. We were at the loft. We were practicing at the loft. And. So right down the hall was, I'm sorry, actually right next door was Roots of Anger. Remember fucking, man. I don't know if you guys remember the, the singer Chris Bongo from the, the Roots of Anger. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I know. I mean, I'm just I too know, young. You know, know, so this is all man, if, if, shit if, that I've always wanted to if, hear. If, so if, I'm if, just if there's a demo, if, if somebody's listening to me, yeah. Yeah, oh yeah. I'm I bet you Enzo can always, find it. Yeah. He's sending me shit all the time. So, uh... Chris Bongo, man, was an unreal singer, right? So at that time, again, six, you know, six degrees or whatever, uh, Mike was, uh, he was playing bass for Roots. And right next to them, are you familiar with The Loft? How The Loft used to be? Yeah, yeah, it's like Redford, right? Or no, am I wrong? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah buddy. So right it's like, the, it's right like, on the border like, of Detroit. Yeah. So yeah, this, again, Redford. this is like 98, 99. Seven mile beach daily. Mm-hmm. So we practiced like, you know, three times a week. And then, so that's when, at that time, Caged 
was the band Jesse was in. Yep. Right? He told me about I never got to see them, like I said, before oh, my dude, time, but I, I got heard CDs, the name. Yeah. I've heard the name. Him, you know? him and Casey were, 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 were both singers. You know what I'm saying? All the homies, Dave Rinkman, uh, Jeff Core, all them guys, right? Justin, you know, the drummer, whatever. Uh, but anyway, so shit progressed, shit progressed, shit progressed. Um, then Low Life kind of like split up a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was like, all right, cool. So I went, I went doing, I was doing my hip hop shit. And, but the dope thing was, man, like at the Low Life, that's where I met like Universal Stomp. Mm-hmm. As my brother, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, Ed, I yeah. mean, like growing up on that Soon, shit, man. He'll be here. Hell yeah. Oh, fuck that. I'm going to be here with that'll, him. Do that'll, it. That'll be a good time right well, He there, said buddy. he wouldn't do it without you. My boy Darren isn't like wrestling and shit. So yeah. he knows uh, He knows Ed and said that he requested that you be there. <laughs> I swear oh, to no, God. Oh, no. I promise yeah. I'll be yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking Jam be here too. <laughs> okay, let's do it. <laughs> um. So, yeah. yeah so, like, Who gives a fuck? Growing up mm-hmm. listening to that shit, man, but like. And it was like that, remember? And it was like, um, like DOC. Yep. And uh, what was it? Five hundred feet of pipe. No, no, no. But like, remember, like, like in the other rooms, like DOC. Oh yeah, yeah. And then like, um, five hundred feet of pipe. And remember the dude from the Pantera videos, Popeye. Yeah. He had a band yeah. there, and like, <laughs> dude, they had a grow room in there, and I was like, oh, oh no shit. It was just wild. Oh, dude, it ain't changed much, dude. <laughs> I bet. I when bet. Poison Tongues, it was, dude, we practiced there for years. Oh, that's right. For years, dude, yeah. and trust me, shit has not changed. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, it's does it's, Ed still own the building? Yeah, it's really? it's, it's a little tamer, but it's it's still the same fucking. Yeah, vibe. same shit. I gotta piss same too vibe. bad. You guys talk. I'm for real. I gotta piss. Yeah, yeah. What's right yeah. the matter, bro? Your back teeth floating? Oh, oh, <laughs> and then, um, hey, grab me one of those Stellas. I got you. All right, thanks, bro. Yeah, and uh, one of those beers from your fridge. So, um, <laughs> yeah, like meeting them, like, and it was funny because, like, even while we were up there, like, Underground had a room. Yeah. Everyone, did, uh, back in those days, everyone was practicing. Dude. Right? Um, that was the spot. That that's was the that's spot. where I remember meeting uh, Joe. Total's life was there. Yeah. Everyone was there. Remember Joe, Joe Hyde was in uh, Hyde? N- Nish? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Nish, bro. <laughs> bro, Nish. Put your hands out for Nish. Oh. And, um. And remember, they, they shared a room with uh, little Chris Parrish. They were called Vent. Oh, man, I remember Chris Parrish, yeah. Remember when all you yeah. had to say was like a, a one-syllable noun, and that was the name of your band? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Hey, was, hey, hey like, we're, we're curved. What's the name of your band? <laughs> <laughs> no. Wait, wait. What's your... We're Dirt Lamp. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Yo, next <laughs> yeah. next up well, is Dirt Lamp. some chemical, like... <laughs> Name of your band, oh, fucking Strict Nine. Or... <laughs> I like Strict Nine. Well, uh, uh, hey, so what do you sound like? Oh no, we sound like the uh, the Toxic Portraits. Yeah. Oh, word. Cool. <laughs> Up next. Yeah. Right. <laughs> the Dead Dicks. Yeah. <laughs> the Dead Hammers. <laughs> what? Right. Like hammer, like dick, like a man dick. No, like. <laughs> You know, Thanks, the slutty bro. kind. <laughs> so, yeah, so. um, Oh, no. Oh, no, I got it. Yeah, so what it was, this is like being up the loft and blah, blah, blah. And then, like, everything progressed, right? And then, so, Jesse moved into his own, being, like, the solo guy for the cage thing. And I don't know if you guys have ever heard the last cage record put out called um, As in Heaven, So on Earth. Yep. Nope. <laughs> Bro, hard shit. I mean, hard. Like right shit. <laughs> like like flames. You know what I'm saying? Oh, like yeah, real, yeah. real, 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 Whoops. real flames. So it worked. Like with, with like 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 seeing that shit. You know what I'm saying? Seeing the evolution. Like you know, it sparked energy in all of us. Like whether we're doing hardcore, we're doing this, whatever. So anyway, so I go away for a while. You know, they're doing that. They're doing this. All my blood comes out. Right. I'm like. Phew. Yeah, so I'm all in, right? No more angels, baby. Oh, that. man. Oh, God. That fucking shit. That I remember the first time I heard that shit. That shit is hard, bro. Right. <laughs> Actually, the first time I heard the song That's was... Right. Shout out Almost to uh, Jesse fucking... and uh, Jeff and Jimmy. All my blood. <laughs> yeah. Jimmy Wan, the motherfucker, yeah. yeah. So Hell listen, yeah. so first time I heard that shit, right? I'm, I'm riding with Jesse to the pierogi fest. 
Remember that shit? Oh, yes. Hell I yeah. definitely remember Pierogi yeah. Fest. With Tyrant <laughs> yeah. and fucking everybody, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, my it God. It literally turned into a Pierogi it Fest. It sure, it sure did. <laughs> so, look. So, I was, yo, I wasn't hip to Tyrant yet. I had an idea, right? But I but I knew Dave mm. from Coldest Life Days, right? Yeah. But anyway, so I'm like, I show up, yo, blah, 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 and I got the shirt on, and it's got a bunch of X's on it. He comes up, he's like, what's up, Dave? Right? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm like, what up, man? He's like, damn, I seen you a while, blah, blah, blah. You know, he's like, I'm doing this shit, you know, tyrant, da, 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 da. And so, like, it was, remember, it was still Jesse, Jeff, Jimmy. Was it two Jeffs? Was it no, two oh, no, no, there was a, what was that long haired cat's name uh, that was playing either guitar or bass before I joined the band? I don't deal with long hairs, man. It was <laughs> Justin? <laughs> Y'all got long It may have been Justin. He he was a he was a good kid. Remember he was nah, a let's long give him hair. another name. I I do I, I want to give him one. No more disrespect name. to whoever it is if you hear this you podcast. I was just a baby, so <laughs> I've never seen you guys like you were. See to me, but I all you guys are grown ass babies, men, right? So look, so look, right? So I'm like, so I get pierogies and then I fight, right? <laughs> I got cool. some stories about that fest. So I'm, I'm like, so hold on, this is kind of cool, right? So I'm drinking in my truck. I'm so what like, was Pierogi Fest? Let's, let's lay it out for everybody. I don't see. I don't fucking know. Pierogi Fest. Jesse's right. like, let's go to this show. You want to go? I'm like, yeah. He's like, we're fucking playing. Word. Check this out. We're gonna fight. <laughs> yeah. So was it? Pierogi Fest. Where was it? It, at? it was. It was in. It was in Ferndale. Okay. It was not some, fight. I'm sorry. Not fight. But just like we're gonna. Mosh. No, we're gonna. We're gonna, we're gonna dance. We're gonna have a it's good gonna time. Tr- there's probably, probably, there's probably going to be a fight. Probably at some point, you know. Twenty I mean, seconds. It's, it's pretty much in, inevitable. Twenty Someone seconds. Mic stand. Twenty fucking <laughs> seconds into Tyrant's fucking set, yeah. I was oh, like, dude. "This is great." Oh, dude. Every this is what I miss, show, dude. This is what I love. And uh, that was a, that was the beginning. This of This is what I, I miss. Mean? <clears throat> so pierogi fest. I need to get back a... into this shit. That's why I'm doing it. Come back, everybody. You know what I mean? Like, God damn. That. I thank God. I, you, I heard back. you say that, dude. Because Don't grow we up. Need you. We've been to- listen, motherfucker. I'm gonna tell you something right now. I'm gonna hold the mic right in front of my goddamn face. I would. We've been talking about this shit for how many years now? Uh, I don't know. As long as we get drunk. Yeah. <laughs> that we needed what? Get the shit together. Leg off. Let- Leg off. Yeah. Mm. Let's revamp it. No, I'm redo serious. It. BKC 2021. It started back in BKC 20. 20- Fucking fifteen oh five <laughs> oh five twenty oh five. Well, no, like no, the the remake. <laughs> we were starting how this was supposed to be. We're so we're leading up to how you guys started BKC. Well, that's right, and that's where we're going with this right now. I'm gonna leave Jam with that. I gotta pee too. All right. So BKC started as kind of an off. It really started as um an offshoot of of all my blood, really, because it was all the same guys from all my blood with uh. With Rick saying, yeah, you know what I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it definitely had a different feel, a different attitude, a different direction um, of what we, you know, what we wanted to accomplish, like what we were saying, mm-hmm. and uh, it was it was a bit more thrashy, uh, a lot more, you know, uh, kind of East Coast Madball hip hop kind of flavor. You know, I loved Rick, it, I and mean, that's with, what really with, turned me on with Rick being in the band. Like yeah. there was definitely that hip hop flavor oh, man, in it. Man. Um, and so it was definitely uh, something different than what All My Blood was because All My Blood was kind of all out warish, sworn right, en- yeah. en- sworn enemy ish. Yeah. <laughs> I remember that. Well, that's BKC. Yeah, yeah. she was talking about BKC. I thought we were talking about them with Rick. Huh? I thought we were talking about BKC. Yeah, we are. Yeah, yeah. So it was BKC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I was just talking about all like oh, oh, still, yeah, yeah. between All My Blood yeah, and BKC. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's empty. So I mean, it was definitely uh, fucked up. It was. <laughs> <laughs> I don't drink. <laughs> it's all good, bro. Today, we, hey, do. we, hey, we do. I don't worry about we it. We do. I'm excited for this. I said I gotta get so, loose. So it was. It was just. Uh, it was a. Uh, it was a. Uh, an offshoot of all my blood because, like I said, like it was literally all the same guys from all my blood. All my friends. The, all my yeah. All my friends. <laughs> That's what we used to say. It's all my, my friends. friends. But, it, but it, had a, it had a totally different flavor. Of what all my blood was, you know, with Rick, you know, doing the hip hop thing. What do you need? Yeah, you need lighter. Oh, you got it. Oh, oh you can with, with, with Rick oh, yeah, doing so his yeah. uh, doing the hip hop thing, and it kind of like I said, brought in that East Coast Madball flavor, sworn enemy type flavor. Yeah, and 
And so what I was trying to do with that was like, you know what I'm saying? Like, again, back to my roots, reiterate that whole like shit that I, that I felt as a kid, like punk rock, hip hop. It's the same shit. You know what I mean? And, and, and like growing up and seeing bands, like bands that, that I was introduced to like mad ball and you know, like Scarhead and shit like that. Like just like that, that thug core. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, but like, uh, E-town, really? E-Town Concrete Man, come on You know what I'm saying You know, they brought A different flavor To the yeah. table You know what I mean But we we still had That like Detroit Like, you know what I'm saying Pick up edge Like Which is which is what I always Loved about it, man Like We'd go from like Some like, you know Just like Regular one-two Rap shit Bum, 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 bum you know, it's so not necessarily like a blast beat, but like you know, like a pickup, like yeah, bam, 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 bam. You know what I'm saying? Like it just go, like just go right through it, man. It was like, almost like that Pantera stomp groove. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. It. Yeah, but, but it, it again, it had groove. You know what I'm saying? I mean, and, you know, sometimes you need a torch. <laughs> yeah, you need a crack lighter every now and then. Yeah. So, and that, and, and to me, that's what it did, man. And like, so like, I remember, yo. I remember uh, seeing Jamit shows at, like, Alvin's. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't remember what the goddamn shows were or whatever. <laughs> Some big old weird dudes. But I remember. Um, oh, I think I know what the story I remember Alliance was playing and, like, whatever, you know, whatever. And... <laughs> you tell me the night I knocked those two dudes out, the big motherfuckers at Alvin's. What show was it? What year? Cause I no, 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 no. I knew you then. <laughs> oh. Oh. No, th- this is before I knew you. Oh, okay. Um, not like knew you, knew you, but like, right. You know, so like, we were talking about the guys earlier, like you, know, like Jeff, and like, I'm saying instead of all my blood show to have no, Floyd. Like, <laughs> I'm saying like we didn't we didn't know each other, man. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Like, right, right. But again, like, I'm sitting there moshing like a real asshole. You know, I'm drunk. I'm not really hip to like you know what you guys are doing yet, kind of like throwing shit. And I remember seeing Jam running around like, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Right. What about it, dude? How many times it fucking wherever whatever <laughs> show we were at, you would just run and just jump on my back and fucking we would go around the pit <laughs> and just Pushing terrorize everyone. I know. It's no like, one was safe. Right. It's, it's me right. with Rick on Big my back. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, and when, Scary, yo, when he was dude. when he was chiseled, like I'm two times the size because I'm fat and shit. And he's just <laughs> and he's just like fucking just benching me like hey, hey, hey. Right. And Rick's just kicking hey, the shit out of people. Kicking people, Pow! touching their noses and shit. Like <laughs> I yeah, love just that. Just giving shit, them boops. Man. Boop. boop. <laughs> yeah. Pow. Horrible. Because I remember seeing you guys like fucking around in the pit acting crazy. And I was kind of looked up to it too, because you guys are a little older and you were more comfortable than I was when I first showed up. And then you know, just keep showing up and keep showing up. And then yeah, you start getting like dude. head nods from the regulars who are there, like, what's up? Like, you're still here. Remember and, the night that we so, played with fucking Hunter Demons Jesus, at fucking 2500 Club? Yo. Hell yeah. Bro, let's, Yo. There was pictures of that shit in the free press. <laughs> oh my God. Yo. 2500 Club. Shout out! Did, did you ever, did you ever get a chance? To yeah, go yeah, 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 yeah. Like, hey, Ink and Hoods there <laughs> yeah. all the time. Yeah, dude, we played with fucking hundred demons. No, no, no. I was like, okay, no big deal. Again, like you know, what I'm saying like so. Again, like these motherfuckers like had to prep me and all this shit. Like a bunch of bands I wasn't hip to yet. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. But like over the like over a couple years, mm-hmm. I'm listening to like di- discographies. Hundred demons, this, this, you know, you know, whatever. Oh, I'm like Jesus yeah. Christ, man. Dude, that shit was crazy. That's Yo, not, these that's fucking my, guys my... walk into the bar, biker core. You ever seen them? Hell yeah. The fucking, they're this fucking bu- tall. <laughs> yeah, a bunch of Yo, they're, they're back monsters like this. from Connecticut. I'm like These East Coast killers. Hey, Jim, get your fucking friends out of here, bro. <laughs> bro, they're fucking crazy, man. Like, I was like, yeah. yo. I love that fucking That show band, was man. fucking heavy, bro. Yeah. The Alliance played that show. Mm-hmm. I remember there was a picture of me and fucking Joe Hyde. Like, like I was, the Alliance was playing, and I was dancing in front of Joe, and I was just, like, pointing at him as it, while he was singing. And they actually interviewed me, the free press did, like, after the whole thing. You know, melee was over. <laughs> what? Yeah. Oh yeah. I'm good. I'm good. Give me that. So let me tell you what. Fucking 
Pump. I fucking um <laughs> that show. Hey, that show. I had a, a big chain. It got ripped off. I didn't care about it. If you remember, Jam, do you remember while the Alliance was playing? I jumped up on the fucking dartboard, snapped it in half. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, and Joe Hyde goes, that's right, Big Rick. Let's go. Let's show him how Detroit does. <laughs> Let's get down. <laughs> and look, I'm looking around. I'm like, hey, did that dartboard hit anybody? <laughs> like, hey, hey, fuck it. At that point, if it did, it did. Right. right. It's time to get down. You know what I mean? It's my favorite times seeing the Alliance and BKC. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All that tyrant, like, all on one bill. Like, what's going to happen? How many people are going to be kicked out before the first fucking band is over? Like, <laughs> god damn, man. All right, so peep game, right? So, again, so I'm, like, on a, uh, like a hiatus a little bit, right? And at the end, at the end of the uh, the Rising Sun CD, we did, we, we did a joint with Cage, right? And it's called uh, Synergy or some shit. Something, something, and something this is real. what year? Oh, fuck, man. 90-ish, late 90s, early 2000s? 99, 2000? Okay. Right? Right. And so, like, you know, it's just like kind of like rhyming over like, uh, what would sound like P.O.D. type shit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. And then, like, when the hook comes, it's just like, ah, right? And so I'm like, and one of the hooks, I'm like, Explosion on contact, bloody knuckle combat, right? <laughs> and so then later on, I'm like, hey, hey right? Got something. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> so put a check on that in the fucking, <laughs> pro, put a check next to that on the, on the fucking Pro Tools. Bop, bop. Right? <laughs> so then, right? Good. Everybody good. Next thing I know, right? Jam's in a fucking band. I'm like, oh. <laughs> We're gonna fuck some shit up now, brothers. <laughs> I don't know what uh, you guys thought, man. Oh. Right? And um Shit's about to get wild, son. Yo, so our <laughs> first show, we don't have a record, we don't have anything, right? Oh no, wait, no, no, no. We recorded the demo at Clifton's. Remember? No, okay. No, no, yeah. no, wait, wait, wait. And I uh, yes, we I re- I definitely remember. But do you remember what happened before that when we were out there recording the demo, the fight in Lincoln Park? Oh yeah, let's go there. <laughs> so listen, what year? <laughs> Fight in Lincoln Park. Same year. We're in Lincoln Park. No, 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 no. <laughs> this is the night before we're recording the demos. So. <laughs> yeah. Jam just wants to fight half of Lincoln Park. Well, That's okay I was, with me. I was uh, no, I was kicking it with some people at you your know. man's house. No, no, it wasn't my man's. It was my brother's homeboy's house. Same. Shout out to my brother Eric. 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 He was with he a was, K. A, Don't with a K. With that K. He was he was part of a band, uh, pop punk band called Tough Call. Fucking Tough huge, Call, bro. huge band. Was that like Disco Alliance shit back in the day. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah with Quit Your Life and Daniel. Yep, Fuck yeah, exactly, man. man. They were great. All those bands were great. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. <laughs> that was my shit. shout out to all those bands. That was Dan- my local shit before you know I found hardcore. Right. So. But I remember like Daniel right. and them playing all Floyds and blah 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 blah. Yeah. Blah, blah. Right. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. And, and over exactly. Uh, Don Polsky's and shit. What's that? Yeah. Oh, Don River Don Love Pol- Show. Yeah. Remember that shit? Yeah. <laughs> No, dude, that's... That's got beat up by you fucking dude, people I'm back a, then. I was this little it. fat nerd getting beat up. <laughs> they pushed me to the pit. Me and Joe High got into a fight down in that. that I'd be show. stuck. <laughs> Not with each other, but like me and no. Joe High were fighting some folks. Uh. <laughs> we'll talk about that later, maybe. I don't know, maybe not. <laughs> but anyways... Uh, I don't even remember. Oh, the, uh, the party in Lincoln Park, man. It was one of my... My but my brother's uh buddies, it was his going away party or whatever, and I was hanging out with some folks at the time that, you know, it was kind of an initiation thing. Yeah, we're doing things. Right. Hanging out. And uh they wanted to test my metal and a friend of uh So to speak. Yeah. A person that I know showed up to the party and he was acting out of line. He threatened my brother. Fucking mm. And things escalated from there. So and it, it <laughs> I guess same night, you know, Jam's like, yo, what's up now? Come over here. And so I got like my DJ, Jim, you know. Whatever. Well you already no, no, I, I did I did I called you. Yeah. Yeah. So it was like four of us hanging out, bullshitting. So a, 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 you know, a scuffy, if you will. A dust up. A, a little dust up. A punch up. <laughs> a proper some, one. Some right. shit. But a proper one. Right? Oh, good and proper. So, yo, yo, let me tell. Okay. <laughs> so, I'm outside, right? And I, and I, and I, yeah, so, I'm immediately looking 
I'm not worried about my friends anymore. Dude. I'm looking, you know, for the Smash Brothers, right? <laughs> because that's where the action is, and I want to make sure they're not killing me, number two. <laughs> so I'm looking, right? So I'm running over, and I see I, I, I see E. He's kind of got this dude down by, like, this brush, right? And I look up. Dude, and I see just fucking jammed. It's, it looks like it's slow motion, B. <laughs> Damn. He's launching golden, golden right hooks and fires <laughs> and, like, uppercuts on these guys, man. Dude, and, and their faces are going that way. Like, <laughs> <laughs> right? And I'm like, oh, he's killing him. I'm like, hold on. <laughs> so I run back and I get my guys. I'm like, hey, so-and-so, we have to go because there's bodies here, right? <laughs> so we run back yeah. out. Yo, yo, we run back out to the middle of the street, man. And, like, there's another guy saying something. And Jam's like, oh, yeah? Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> okay? Not sure how, but I'll tell you this right now. They felt like exes. Their bodies, <laughs> their legs. They turned every, blue. Look at me. Every, every one of them I knocked out laying it in a pile. Look. The, the guy you're talking about right now was the dude that broke his fucking leg. Because he was talking shit over the fucking... Listen. The, I I put my hand on a fucking Bible and tell that you right now. That may not leave out details. True. The guy he's talking about, you know, he was woofing at me, and Hard. there was a, a group of fucking his people and just me and a couple of my boys. You know, like, what about it, son? What do you want to do? Let's get down. What he's, about he's it? Woofing, what woofing, the woofing. fuck about it? So I do. I jumped over the fucking pile and I hit this motherfucker <laughs> square in the fucking jaw. And he was a he was an overweight fella. He fucking but he was the one woofing, right? He was. Damn. This motherfucker Bow! Hit him. It's, as he fell, he locked his legs up. Boom. Broke his leg as he fell. <laughs> At that point, that's when that group tackled me. Yeah. Right? And because remember at the studio, dude, I had that fucking black eye that okay, stuck out. But yeah, but remember here, to I, here? Yeah, I ran, <laughs> dude, I, I I run over there, right? And I'm like, I don't know who's who yet. And I'm like, huh? The dude fucking hates me. I'm like, you mother, right? I'm trying to figure it out. I'm like, where's Eric? Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, listen, I'm my, bro- my 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 listen, my brother. At that point, I I remember after. I got. You know, he was beating the shit out of the guy over there, over by the thing but it, thing. But his glasses got knocked off his face. I remember looking at him as he's crawling on the ground, looking for his glasses, right? Because he can't see shit without his glasses. Okay. So those guys, after I fucking knocked that kid out, he fucking fell. As he fell, he he was out, dude. And it's a common thing to get you to to break your ankle or your shin as you fall. When, especially if you're a bigger guy, you lose everything. Your weight shifts to one side. Yeah, boom! You there goes the bone. The UFC yeah, it's it's a common time, thing, right? Yeah. yeah. So just don't get knocked out. Right. Yeah. Don't. How about you? Don't talk shit. Yeah. To me, yeah. Exactly. And I won't don't. Fuck don't you fight up. somebody that's gonna <laughs> knock you out. If right. you don't want to get knocked out and break your shin because you a fat hoe, right? Don't do so, it. As a dude, after I knocked the kid out, those guys tackle me, right? I mean, they got me, dude. I mean, I was on the ground. There was probably five or six of them. I'm on the ground, and my hands were under my chest. So I'm laying on my stomach on my chest, and I had my head down because I knew what was coming next. Somebody's going to kick me in. Because the only thing exposed was my head. Somebody's going to kick me in the fucking face. And that's exactly what happened. I looked up, dude, and all I see was a fucking Nike coming straight, and I was just, boom, just took it, dude. I was just like, fuck. And, it, dude, it rang my fucking bell. I've never been knocked out. I've never been knocked out, you know, from a punch or a kick. But that fucking shit rang my fucking bell. Could have been a, a bit of a flash knockout, but as soon as that dude Jeez. kicked me, all those dudes let me go. And that's the dude that was at the party that kicked me, remember? That I knew. <laughs> you know what I'm going to say, dude. Say I stood up, dude, and I fucking I shook I shook the cobwebs out, and everyone looked at me like I was a fucking ghost. Like, bro, that dude just got his head kicked off like it was a fucking football. <laughs> just stood up, and I'm I like, just stood up? up. Like, what about it? You know what I mean? What the fuck you want to do? What about it? <laughs> what about it? Dude, and, and I walked over to the dude, and I fucking wound up on it because he was fucking bit 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 bit. You know, talking shit. So listen, to this. Zaya. 
fucking hit this motherfucker. You fucked up. You didn't <laughs> knock him out. He's up and he's mad. No, no. I hit this motherfucker, dude. So I hit him so fucking hard. His knees buckled, right? Damn. To where he was still standing up. I want you I want you to listen to this. <laughs> like, you know, like origami. Like funny shit. <laughs> like, it, literally. Shit. Like, it was yeah, like, like somebody took like a... Uh, like a piece of paper and just and they creased it in the middle to where like the two angles could hold the body up. <laughs> and the dude's just fucking standing. He's, he's just weaving because his, knee, his <laughs> because, knees are closed because together. it's balanced and it's holding him up. He's going, oh shit. And his girlfriend's screaming, oh my god, you, you fucking, fucking killed, killed him. him! You killed you him! You killed him! <laughs> And he just fucking. I'm like, shut the fuck up, bitch! (laughs) Shut the fuck up, bitch! And he falls over into the fucking pile of bodies that I had already knocked out previously. See, they're still sleeping? They're still sleeping. Oh, yo, they're they're (laughs) out, son. Uh, No, listen. The teenage mutant ninja turtles. Wait, 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 wait. Listen, listen, listen. I got got the rest of this. As soon as I hit that motherfucker and he fell over, a cop car, because we already heard the sirens and shit screaming. Cop car comes screaming down the street. You're making parts still? Listen, 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 listen. So. My two guys, they fucking bolt, right? They both got warned. Fuck out of here, right? Right. Typical Lincoln Park, right? Bunch of scumbags. So look, so look, so look, so look. The cops are like, they're out there. And no, you remember? The ambulance fucking showed up too. Right. right? I had to go into the ambulance because my fucking eyeball was yeah. sw- so listen. swelling out of my hey. fucking head. Hey, Damn. Rob, listen, listen, listen. So these motherfuckers go, <laughs> they're just... Bodies, right? It looks like a horror movie. Like we're just shooting a horror, like a placenta video, right? <laughs> and I'm like, what? guy goes, looks at Jam. <laughs> I'm saying, dude, I'm, hey, I thump it, right? Guy I goes, drunk as shit. Hey, g- guy goes, all right, you're looking at me. I'm like, I got polo shirt. I'm like, you got no blood on your shirt. You're good, right? Jam's all beat up and shit. He goes, looks at Jam. He goes, do you do this? J- hey, no, no, no. Like, this is the honest to God's truth. No, listen, bro. listen. He goes, this is you, the honest he goes, to God's truth. Did you do this? Jam's like, yeah. Yep. He's like, they jumped me. I knocked them all out. They jumped me. I'm like, officer, they jumped me. I was in a house. That's like, that's no bullshit, right. bro. All right. That's hey, the honest guy's cops truth. go like this. And they fuck. I got no report. I'm not even mad. I'm and impressed. And they fucking left. Like, like the ambulance stayed. Hey, hey, hey. There's three. There's three unconscious human beings right they just, here. Whoop, just out. They never got the call. It just never happened. Rob, huh? I swear to God, dude. I was standing on the fucking curb <laughs> like this. I'm, I, just, I swear to I you. I put my hand on the fucking Bible and say this, right? I swear to you. I'm standing on the curb like this, dude. My eye is fucking swelling out of my head. We used to have pictures. It was on my... It's... On my MySpace. I think I remember. Yeah, because we recorded I, the next morning. Right. I have to have seen I'm it. I'm standing there like this. My hand, dude, my hand was as big as a grapefruit. And my eye is just as bad, but it's purple. And I'm standing there like this. Man. And the cops come screaming up. They're like, do you do this? Yep. <laughs> they fucking jumped me, man. What do you want me to do? All right. Skirt. They backed out. Ambulance comes in. Took off. I swear. Hey, I'm, I'm ambul- hey I'm ambulance picked him up. <laughs> it is gone. They wanted, Fuck, to, they wanted to take me to the Fuck. hospital because my, my fucking orbital no. was broken. My hand was broken. That's fucking dude. crazy. <laughs> yeah. So all he did was like a true G. Cause and I was like 17. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. That, I'm, so, I'm sorry. Because that was a Friday night. So Saturday morning, <laughs> we had BKC recording shit going on with yeah. Jay Clifton. So he came through. <laughs> and he walked in, he looking just, like Jesus. <laughs> he looked like the whole movie a kickboxer. <laughs> <laughs> James is like, he just laughed because Jay's Jay. Jay's Jay's fucked up too, man. Like, he has a fucked up sense of humor. Yeah. He just laughed. He's just like, why? Uh, you know, I don't even expect anything fucking different from you clowns. <laughs> oh. But he's like, like mad, like trained the same way, right? Oh yeah. Yep. Like like Jay, like crazy tra- yeah trained even more than I was, or am you know what I mean? The Jay Jay was uh I remember he told me he used to kick Jay like, was about that life like he kicked like the uh, the heavy bags full of damn silver sand. It was the same thing I did, but it's like in order to get to that level, if you're kicking 
depending on how, how old the bag is, because that silver sand is a very, very uh, fine sand. So depending on the heavy bag, you pour that, you take some of the stuffing out and you pour uh, silver sand in there and eventually it settles to the bottom, depending on how much you put in there. Yeah. From anywhere from this much to this much. Yeah. And it's like fucking concrete. And that's that's what we used to kick. Joe used to kick the shit, same shit, dude, man. Like you see, oh, he watched yo. the bags fly too. Yeah, you little motherfucker. Hey, shout out to Joe. You saw he got his uh, what he's doing right now. He just uh, got. Uh, I did see something. I can't remember off the top of my head what it was. It was uh, oh, he uh, he's teaching at a school. Uh, yes, sir. I feel like a dick for not remembering this, dude. Yeah. Oh, you need um, your phone? Yeah. Because I want I want to shout him out. Yeah. yeah, I'm gonna get him on here. I talked to him too. He yeah, said Joe Hyde. Times got well, yeah, yeah. We, we, yeah we, Joe was my homie. We can talk about that bully camp and all that shit. Nah, man, yeah. I fucking love the alliance though. Like you guys and BKC and the alliance. I what like? Since I talked to you guys, got the head nods here and there, shook hands. But when you guys had uh, like one of your first shows, was it with Ramallah or am I wrong? Was so no. Show? So check BKC? it out. BKC. Yeah. So check BKC. us out. So check us out. Right. So I've been practicing with these motherfuckers, man. Like. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Trying to get, like, trying to get my strikes back. Trying to feel good about it. Yeah. Oh. Rick, before I forget, I want to shout this out real quick before you get too deep into the story. Joe Hyde uh, is going to be the striking coach at Gracie Barra uh, in Livonia. (laughs) Classes will be held on Tuesdays and Thursdays. From 7 to 8, beginning on January 5th. It's too late for me. Man. Shout Jesus out. DM Joe Hyde for any more info. Then you can hook up with him. Boom, 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 boom. You a can, tough guy. True yeah. Muay Thai striking. I didn't, I didn't want to. I didn't, no, no, before no. Before we get too deep. No, no, no. And you can, you can DM Joe Hyde at gay guys. Is it? Yeah. Is Dot it, plug. Over there. Is, is that going to? Uh, I don't want to keep it over here because it's going to interrupt the... Yeah, make noises and shit. Oh, no, bullshit. Right. We're good. So, um, yeah, so, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, er, like tr- trying to earn... Again, respect is hard to earn. That's what you have to learn, right? So, either way, coming back and, and like, trying to, like, learn what these cats are doing. Um... Like, I, I understand the breakdowns and this and that and, you know, whatever it was. But, like, with BKC, I wanted to do, like, I want to incorporate more, like. Flavor. Yeah, the old school shit. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, bop, bop, bop. The hip hop. Like, the pickup shit. You know what I'm saying? So. It's, I mean, it's like I was saying before, though, the hip hop, you know, it runs. I love that shit. Parallel <clears throat> with the idealism yeah. of hardcore. Always, right? Always. Incorporate it. Yeah, it's, it's always against. Right. So, um. Yeah, so, you know, we're going through and recorded a demo. And then, um, lo and behold, we got our first fucking show, right? At Alvin's. Yeah. I and remember like, it, man. Yo, and Jeff's like. And shout out to Weiner for hooking that up, man. Like I was saying before. Still dude. trying to think of his f- fucking booking shit name. I can't think what, of What was Weiner's booking name? Do you remember? <laughs> was it like Creep or something? Creep Show. Creep Show Creeps. booking. You got Creep it. Creep show. There it is. Where, where, yo. <laughs> yeah, you what? got it. Creep show booking. <laughs> Find it on MySpace, all the I good say, flyers. I said we all do a shot. Hey. Jay, bring that. Line them up. So look. I got my cup. So I said, Be yo. Careful now. So we had. It's like a little mix. It's all good. All right. Peep game. It was BKC. Good. Right. Yeah. Right? Yeah. First show. Yeah. And. Death Before the Sun or no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ramallah. And, Shad or er, er, no 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 a, a suffocate like faster boy. I think was on that one too suffocate yep. faster yeah. which one oh you guys the first show I remember yeah like and, and, and that was a crazy 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 show for crazy me. show because I didn't you know I knew who you guys were and like I thought I was Mr Cool Guy because I was like I know a band that's playing on this fucking show I was like these fucking cool guys and I just want to say it again that's a show I got slapped in my face at that show I already told. Yeah. I told Jan the story. I got slapped in my face. You know Rob Armstrong, right? No, no. Well, Bro, I guess it was wait, all in good. I'll, hold on, I'll put it out there. It's all good. Uh, okay, all right. yeah, yeah. It's all let's good, go, Rob. Let's go, let's go Rob, it. me right. and Rob are boys. We're still cool. It's all good. Who's that? Right. So it's because you know Mr. Straight Edge people, and um, 
they were uh, straight edge, whatever. And I worked at Jerry's Food Market. One day, I remember that place. I feel you. Well, I worked with his cousin. I love that place. And seriously, and so because I had this shirt, it was a um, until the end shirt, you know, and it had three X's on the side. I wasn't straight edge, but like they got mad, you know, because he was mad. He's like, he said, "Yo, are you straight edge or no?" I was like, "No, I'm not straight edge. Why are you wearing a straight edge shirt?" I was like, "I don't know." I was like, "Am I not allowed to?" I don't fucking know. But so we were cool though. Like, we were already cool. Like, we're boys, whatever. But. You know, Rob, I love you. Rob Armstrong, he loves me too. So this ain't a bad story. We're good. Okay. So wait a minute. All right, we're right good. on, right on. We're so, good. I was going to so say, he, otherwise. He slapped you with the show because yeah. you wore the all, shirt? All names and. Because uh, I wore a, a straight edge shirt. Yeah, he said, I'm going to slap you because. <laughs> and I was young. You know, he was young. We were young. You know, it just, it was something to prove type shit. You know, that's what it was. We're yeah, all good. Exactly, man. It's, no? Reason no? No, 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 if, if, no, 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 we're cool. It's something to prove, you know, right. if you guys are cool, I'm, just, I'm, yeah. I'm looking up for the interest of your podcast. No, it's all good. Rob Armstrong, <laughs> he'll hear this shit. He'll no doubt. Good. He'll laugh hey, about yo. it too. Yo, he'll good laugh for Rob. about good, it too. Good for Rob. Good for Rob. Yeah, yeah good no. for Rob Whatever. Armstrong. Good for Rob, dude. Come on like, now. But, you just, but in the future, uh, in the, listen, in the future, just think about that before you start putting names out there. Rob Armstrong, he'll laugh at this. He will laugh at this. Well. I mean, so other people may not. No, 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 no. I'm just looking at it in, in the bigger picture. But things. I love him to death. But that was, uh, that was a shit. So that's all I have to remember about that show is I got slapped in my face for wearing a shirt I wasn't supposed to. And I Which could. show? Uh, your BKC show, the first one ever. You're a fucking rascal, you know that? Oh, she already did it. You <laughs> so listen. So it was. So I couldn't do nothing about because I was 17 years old. He was like 18. So it's BKC. BKC. Ramallah, Death Before Dishonor. Death Before Dishonor. Ramallah. As soon as I walked up to the show. We could turn this into a BKC show, right? <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Uh, Shattered Realm. I don't know if they played that one or not. Oh, no, I'm, t- I'm telling you they did. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, yeah, they did. They were no, there. I'm telling you they did. Because yeah. I, I bought shirts from everybody that night. Okay, yeah. Because I was, oh, our first I was, show? Yeah, yeah. yeah, I was bugging, yeah. right? But like I wasn't bugging towards them. I was like, yo, I don't. you, you remember the gym? Before we jumped in the van to go, I puked at Jimmy's. I was like, I don't know. Oh, yes, I do. I was like, I don't <laughs> fucking, like, yo. Check us oh, out. So, well, so we, we were, go ahead. We had been like jamming, you know, for a couple weeks, a few weeks, bomb, 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 right? <laughs> right? <laughs> bomb, bomb, bomb. Went to Clifton's. Dropped the demo, right? Here's the funny part. If you remember... Let it die in them. Remember? Mm-hmm. They went to Vegas and they had our demo. Do you remember that? Yeah. And when them homies were like coming home remember, and everybody was like, play rat a tat tat. Remember that? <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. Play rat a tat tat. <laughs> yeah. And Jimmy wouldn't. No big deal. That's my favorite song. Yeah. And so, the, and look. The- I, I I had I had I had a DVD. I had a fucking DVD of the whole show. Unreal, unreal. Because the funny part was, is I wrote I wrote two different intros for how the show was going to start, and I was just going to fucking scream my fucking head off. And it was it was the the you guys were playing the intro to Defense Against the World. Yeah. Bam, 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 bam. Right, right. Well, no. Red right said that was doom 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 doom. No, no, I'm saying, but, but the, the way the show started, we oh, didn't do oh, we, yeah, didn't, yeah, we yeah. didn't do defense because that's Jesse. Oh yeah, yeah. So yeah, we yeah. started with that breakdown. Yep. Bam, yep. bam, bam. Right. So. Yep. 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 It was real crazy, real crazy, and those intros and, and that shit made people go fucking wild, dude. <laughs> so yeah. scary. I loved it though. No, but like it, you know, you know what it was. It, it, it reunited the people that should be in it, and whatever. And what was real cool was, um, you know, like uh, Tom Beast, yeah. and like people like that. Yeah, recognizing it, like you know, some second wave type shit. Like even after like it's just Alliance, a new era, a new generation. Yeah, like, like even after like Alliance yeah. was done, like mm-hmm. yeah, you know, like yeah, yeah, yeah. like not like, gonna say like we. It's never like a replacement, but like you look. Like, it's just a new thing. Yeah, we, it's just exactly. time goes on. And exactly. <laughs> and so new people emerge, you know. Yeah, so you know, we did a couple of records. Um, unfortunately, there was a third record. I mean, it's still recorded. Um, 
I didn't do the vocals on it yet. I think somebody <laughs> did. <laughs> what? Eh. But. <laughs> no, no, no. I think I think Jeff might have used them. I mean. So, anyways, like like I was saying, so there's a third BKC record coming real soon. Um, and it's gonna be me and the big jammer. Yeah, oh, baby. Man. I mean, the way it should we, be. We gotta rebuild the. You know, look, put a I, rebuild. I think there's no team. better time. There's no better time than now. You know. I mean, you, you know what? Yeah, listen, for sure. You can say that right now. Right now, five seconds ago, you can see like keep saying it like. But yeah. everybody, everybody has to utilize that. Like, right? There's no better time. Just keep get, going. Get the word out there, man. But the main, you know, the main thing is, we, we we can put the music together and get it out there. But you guys got to come once we're able to do the show thing. Man, I think out, everyone come out to the shows like it used to be, and we'll go just as fucking crazy as we used to. <laughs> and that's yeah. part of the reason I started doing this is. You know, cause we all we all have our cycles. We come and we go. We show up to what we can. We see the bands we want to see, and then you know, uh, when something like this happens, you know, the whole uh, you know pandemic, COVID type shit, and then we yeah. can't go to fucking shows. It really makes you think about uh, what you missed or what you didn't show up to because either you were too busy or had something better to do. But right. you know, deep down inside, you know, you know, uh, the shows are where you belong. Absolutely. You know, oh, for sure. So whether you're playing music or just you know, going to shows, you to see like the three, four, or five friends that even show up anymore. Boy, you see the bands you like, and and just to revitalize it is what I really hope happens. It, and everybody's gonna recognize that you fucked up by not going. Right. You know. So, or, so that's how I feel. Like I fucked up. I fucked up by not showing I'm, up to the shows I could have gone to, but I didn't. I'm not doing the family thing and you know staying busy, get my life on track. It's uh yeah, but listen, man, it's a mean, fine balance, right? Yeah, but that's you. you. That's you. Yeah, yeah. You, you so I think you know whether. Go ahead. No, no, you. I was gonna say whether it's like uh, you know, something I just think about that like I missed out on, but you know, like I said, I don't got no hobbies. I don't fucking golf. I don't, you know, I don't do. So no fantasy football, no shit like that. So, so what am I gonna do? So I hang out with my kids. I work. I can go to hardcore shows after that, and that's what I really love. That's what I can really, you know, vibe with and agree and see people I know and like to talk to. I'm not gonna go to some fucking sports bar. That's when you end up in a fight and in jail. You know, fuck those people. I don't wanna talk to those people. What the fuck? You? Yeah, that's where that's where you see me and Jam. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> you ain't wanted with us. I'm not. <laughs> That's all but I'm you saying. know what, dude? Like what you're saying is, man, is uh, it's almost like a. It almost falls back in like how I get, and you know, introduced it to hardcore, like through church. The, this is going to be a hardcore revival. You know what I mean? A yeah. Hardcore revival where everyone's coming to shows. I, Once all this shit gets back to somewhat normal, to where you're able to have live concert, mm -hmm. fucking, you know, live events, it's going to be a, a hardcore. Hip hop, it's coming back. Revival, yeah. You know what I mean? Where everybody I want a BKC shows up. BKC reunion, and it's I want gonna be the fucking wild. I want <laughs> Joe, Joe better. <laughs> Jeremy, who are we gonna get for drums? I'm gonna tell you this right now. You putting me on the spot? Jimmy's done. Jimmy's I know still working. At, I know he. Is. Yo, yo, let me tell you this. Hold on, real quick. So, I love Jimmy. Though. He was my. Uh, one of my one of I my supervisors Jimmy, when I, I know I know no, 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 no. he's just out of the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's fine. L let, let's he's talk a baby about, now. Let's talk about something else. We, we we had yo, we had an Alpina show, right? <laughs> Alpina? <laughs> what is hardcore in Alpina? Well, I mean, you remember driving nine hours to <laughs> Alpina? Oh yeah, we, bro. We haven't even gotten into the freaking BKC story at all. <laughs> Fight story at all? No, 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 no. So look, I, I'm I'm a jump cuckoo's nest, right? Real quick, so. We drive nine hours. How many? Nine. nine. So, are you guys like horror, like movie films, like? Yeah, sure. I, yeah, of course. Yeah, like, like, like The Shining, where like when when uh, yeah, your man goes, oh, about five hours. <laughs> no, this is nine hours. Okay, we drove fucking nine hours it's to be to Alpina, right? Well, I mean, let's be clear, Alpina is not nine hours away. <laughs> Three and a half. Yeah, <laughs> four hours. But it was snowing. It was snowing hard. Yeah. Yes, it was nine hours. Yeah. So. It's fucked up. Michigan weather. It's four. Jim, you gonna lie to me? Like to, to Bro, the water? You know I wouldn't fucking lie to you. 
So then, there I sit. <laughs> <laughs> no, so listen, so, all right. So, uh, some shit happens, and Jimmy, remember, his back window broke. Oh, no, that happened while we were there. I thought that's the night you played drums. I did. That, that, that is the night. That is the night. Yes. His back window got broke out while we were in the VFW playing the show. No. Jimmy wanted to go home. And he walked out to his, you know, his truck. Well, you know, we took all the gear up there with, and his back, you know, flip window was fucking busted out. Okay, hold on. If you remember, there was a night in Alpena where you played drums. That was the night. Nope. That's that can't be the same night. All right, so what are you thinking? So you're saying the night that Jimmy was playing drums and walked out to see his window broke was the same night you were playing drums for BKC? No. Those are two separate nights. Oh, no. All right, so maybe I have words minced. We took Jimmy's truck, I believe. Yes. We took Jimmy's truck. That was for the first night. My words got minced. Yeah. But if you remember the second night, we went up there to play there. Remember the one guy said... Uh, Wait a minute. The one, the one guy said we were going to play with Hate Inc. And another one guy said we were canceled. And then some guy said, hey, guess what? They're not canceled anymore. They're playing at that fucking uh, that gym. Remember? Oh, no. That was with... Oh, that... No. That and, was with pound for uh, pound for pound. Yes. With strength for a reason. Yes. Good. Yeah, that was a whole different thing, dude. That was a whole different fucking thing. A little closer. Oh, yeah. You're no. Cool. You're that cool. was. Right. <laughs> yeah. You're good. Maybe I was. Maybe I was. That was. A, I. I know. <laughs> That's the same that tour, was, though. No, it was. No, yes, it was. No, it wasn't because the shit in Alpena was in the winter time. The pound for pound shit was in the summertime. That was the Chicago shit and all that shit. In Indiana shit. Where were we? Yeah. I mean, it was, I think it was Indiana, Illinois, like. That Ish? Whole, pound know, for, try, yeah, pound try, for pound and, yeah. It was pound for pound, strength for a reason. Strength and for a reason. You seen that guy now? What? Who? The, the singer? singer for that? A different singer. He looks like Jesus. I mean, I knew he grew his hair long. I think and... he might be Jesus. <laughs> Well, I mean, maybe. maybe. Hey, remember his name was. Hey, remember his name was Carl. Remember his name was Carl. Carl. Yeah, his name is Carl. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, I mean, I don't remember. I don't even fucking know. I, I love that band, man. Strength for a reason, though, it's tight. What I do remember about that tour. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Hold on. Anyway. Hold on. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> was I was fucking fucked up. Not as you. Soon, as soon as I, as soon as I got to the fucking, well, we were ta- wherever we were taking off from Jimmy's house or whatever, <laughs> I was fucked, dude. I've been up all night partying and shit, dude. Fucking got there and uh, <laughs> you talking about the four logos? No, 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 no. This that was the uh, the, the Indiana the, night. The what? No, the Chicago night. Oh, that's what? That's right. That's right. That's a, uh, dude, that's... I, then I did to go uh, play for pound for pound, play with pound for pound. Dude, I was so fucked up when I got there to leave in the morning. I literally was li- li- listening to fucking techno in my headphones. Oh, wow. Just to try to get myself to go to sleep. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> People on techno try to go to sleep. I was just like, dude, hey, fuck, give, fuck. Me, give me this, give me this, give me this. Just make it fucking stop. <laughs> what the fuck? And we no, we, that was the pound for pound and straight for a reason. Tour. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh, and yeah. that gym? Yeah. Wow. That big, goofy ass gym, dude. Yeah. A lot, dude, was a ton of kids there. It sounded like total shit. Because so, we're echoing in, off. No. Because we were in yeah, listen, a gym. You're right. Right. Fucking, it sounds the worst. Oh yeah. We're like a huge. Think of like a pep rally at high school. Like, right. What the fuck is happening? Yeah. But even worse because, like, all the people that were there were on the floor. So there's nobody up at the in the in, in the stands, you know what I mean, to block any of the sound. Mm-hmm. So it's just like all the kids on the floor. Is just yeah, but so listen, whirlwind so, of so, echo. Yeah. So it's like, rawr, rawr, rawr. 
it's, it's like a, it's, it's like a bunch of like uh, Midwestern like uh, Indiana kids. And they hard, were great. They were hardcore they really kids, were. just mm-hmm. fucking just losing their mind. But you know what I'm saying? But like they were young. And they like, they were like, what? What? What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> no, they were. I mean, they, come on. You fucking hold on. Hey, taking a chaser. That's all I gotta say. Hey, fucking, right, Jack Wagon. <laughs> no, those God kids damn, were solid. Son. Those kids were solid, bro. Yeah. And yeah, it, it, and there were some it, cats. It, you know, it wasn't that, you know. It's like they knew they were in a gym, dude. Remember they had it was summertime. They had the it was like a barn gym. It was yeah, like a yeah. Barn, it was it, like a barn field house where they had the two big spreading doors. It was open, and the fa- like there was a fan, and it was like yeah. <laughs> and the only oh I mean, hot as fuck. You motherfuckers are fancy. Like, the only thing that really saved it from being a complete fucking disaster was the fact that they opened those two big barn doors. <laughs> because if they didn't, I mean, it would just been like... <laughs> Stupid echoes and sound yeah. like shit. Right. It would have been a mess, dude. It, it would sound like fucking... Uh, what's some guys called? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Let me not say anything. I didn't... <laughs> Don't don't try and set. There's a set couple it up names like up in my bro. head, but I don't want to be rude. <laughs> so, all right, so 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 moving on. Now what happened though? So I don't know where we're at. I'm so fucked up. Tonight. I got it. I got it. So Shit. yo yo. So moving on. Bum bum bum. Right. And then um. So there's a third record. That was kind of recorded, but not really. Um. Jeff did a bunch of guitars. And I'm not I'm not sure if it's uh I think it, it might be Jimmy on the drums. I'm sure but, it probably is. Yeah, so let me let me tell you what I did. I, I, I just dragged my feet on that. Because I mean much dismayed popular belief. Like, um I'm not just gonna put music out. Because it's time to put music out. I wasn't feeling it. You know what I mean? I liked what we all did. I liked what we did. I like I liked what it was as like a unit type shit. You feel me? Yeah, buddy. So when it was time to like just um you know, put a record out that nobody was really a part of. I don't know. You know? I guess I guess call me uh your brother because I'm not gonna do that. You know what I'm saying? Um I know that um Jeff and Jimmy went on to use that record. They they Yeah. They no, they 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 recorded some really good music on that. Uh, I think it was called I can't remember what it was called, but uh Yo. Yeah, I mean, it was called something, but whatever. Yeah, not an act to them at all, but so, again, here's what we're saying. 2020, right? What about it? It's almost over. Jam's all. Big Tech. We'll get the right cats in line, man. 2021. <sighs> Bring it back, BKC. <laughs> How do you try hardcore? Really? I can't. I can I like honestly. I can't imagine anything that sounds better. Twenty twenty one, BKC, oh Jam. shit, Todd, well Rick. Let, I mean, let's Aztec. talk about. Let's talk about it, man. Aztec the bar bully. I mean, but let's let, <laughs> like let's really talk about it. So, I don't know. Shout out anybody want to play drums, but. Jam's probably better than you, so never mind. <laughs> nah. We can find a couple people on drums. I, I, get, I Find I, anybody. I know a hundred people that are way better than me on drums. I know, I know, but Jam... That would be fit this fucking position, but who is willing to step up to the plate? Who's tough enough? That's the question. That's yeah. exactly. That's it. Who hard is enough. tough enough? Let's get down. Tw- you know what? Fuck 2020. No straight edge. Motherfucking... Tw- <laughs> Dude, fuck 2020. It's worst, all about 2021. Worst year ever. Let's get fucking down. 
See, 2020 was a reminder. Hey, it was a reminder. 2020 no. was a reminder. What? 2020 was a reminder of what you've been missing, what right. you forgot about. You know, because everybody grew up, and uh, you know, I've been going back and forth with somebody. We've been talking about how, like, hardcore, and, like, it's like growing up, you know. Like, you don't want to be like Peter Pan. Like, Peter Pan forgot. You know, he grew up. Right. Forgot. Oh, yeah. yeah you know, what do you mean by the Lost Boys? I feel like hardcore is the Lost Boys. Like, people that are still there. For sure. Are still For the sure. Lost Boys. You know what? Dude, I haven't actually thought about that. As funny as that. Is that a crazy sounds? metaphor? Yeah. It's like Peter I've Pan. We're all Peter about Pan. That before. <laughs> We're yeah. all fucking Peter Pan. Don't be Peter Pan. He grew up yep. and sold the fuck out. Right. It's just a good time. It's what you, you know, just, you know, remember hold all the true, good times. Hold true. Hold true. Hold true to what you believe, yeah. man. Yeah. Some hold people fall out of believe, it. Bro. But, but did you really. Is it were you supposed to, or did you just uh, you move on because you thought you were supposed to? Right. You know. Yeah. Like, no, don't move because, on because so, because that was the trend. What you know what the trend was exactly. It w- w- you know was the trend exactly, and it's a balance. Out and, you know, it's a and, balance. Yeah. To me, anyway, you know, there's a few years where I only went to like a couple shows here and there what I wanted to see, but uh, you know, because my friends weren't showing up, so like, why was I gonna go? But right. You know, I love no, the music. I, hear, I love the I new band. I still try to listen hear, to the new bands. The I'm not. Is, that's an old asshole, you know. You just listen no. to what I used to like. It's, it's I try to listen to the new shit. You know? No, it's it's not about like. Here's the thing. Where's my fucking beer? And I, <laughs> ew, yo, like you, I listen to new shit too. Yeah, look at that. Here's I, the thing. I just can't rock with it, man. That ain't the same. That's for sure. Unless it's just my old mind. It's like, here's it used the thing, to be bro. Better. It's not about just listening to the new shit and, and you know and conforming to it. Right. It's about, you know, continuing the ethics of what the shit was, and and still is mm-hmm. to the you know to the to the motherfuckers that know. And continue. Hey! Oh, all right. Shit. Oh, my man, my man, Sammy Sosa. <laughs> <laughs> He's white now. Did you see that? <laughs> I I actually have a punchline about that. But no, Jam, I'm piggybacking you. It's right. the same thing. If you listen to hip hop, right? Right. You might say hip hop has absorbed a majority of things that you see now. Right. Right? Commercials, you know, whatever the fuck it is. It is trash, right? But again, what do we bring to that? Right? And, or not even that, is it important for us to keep it the same way? Right? I think it is. I, you already know my opinion on that, man. So, when I, I mean, like, this is what, <clears throat> this is what, it, it, you know, it was based off of. You know what I mean? And that, should continue on to all the other, you know, generations. Exactly. It doesn't me, matter. So let me ask you, you know, so going off of that, you know, uh, the reason why you want to keep it the same, whatever, what is the biggest lesson, you know, or like, what, like the biggest thing you've learned, like taking from hardcore, like, you know, uh, what, uh, what is the biggest thing you could take away? I'm Integrity. Yes. Integrity. Um, don't fold. Mine, something along that is, don't fucking back down. Yeah, you know, uh, stand fold, up for man. yourself. You learn how to stand up for yourself. Well, so that's what I learned, like how to stand up. You know, not f- yep. fucking look at your shoes when someone's talking shit. And but the thing is, you know what? Like I think, that, or here's the thing. I think it stand that's up the, the that's the root value, right? That's the root value, is stand up for yourself, right? Yes, sir. That's what I can say. That's what we're talking about. But I have a fucking spine. I'm sorry. I didn't take a drink of my juice. Come on. You're fine, brother. But that's the root value. Don't fucking fold. Stand up for your, you know, what you believe in. But. Once you establish what it is that you believe in, 
there's going to be de slight deviations in order, if you want to get to the top of what you have to fucking know what's smart to deal with and what's not. Right? Mm -hmm. And that takes wisdom and it takes talking to people. Respect. Yeah. It takes, talk, you know, talking to people, <clears throat> you know, realizing what, you know, because it, it's a very thin slice of ham that only has one side. You understand? Yeah, I mean, I, I get that analogy. Trust me, I do. So, what my brother is pontificating on, right? It which I'll piggyback on is like, seriously, man, like, you never know the people that you pick up from. Straight up. You know what I'm saying? You know, like, in the beginning, dude, like, MC type shit, like, I never thought I'd be, like, want to be some, you know, bad fucking just, you know, bug out shit. Yeah. Now that's all I want to do. I don't want to rap no more. It's parallel. You know, you know what I'm saying? Though, it is. It is. It's, no. it's, a, it's a parallel universe. Yeah. yeah. So, um, and, and with that, so now think about the worlds, how they've interjected, right? Like punk rock, you know what I'm saying? And, and like rap, they just like, you know what I'm saying? Like probably never really get along for a while. You know what I'm saying? Like, right? Am I right? So like now it's like, man, let it breathe. The breathe, man. Mm -hmm. It's it's been so many. It's you know, it's been so many years. And it's the same. It's the same energy. It's the same angst. It's it, it, it's the same message, man. It's the same fucking message. You I know? love it all. Yeah, I do know. Um, <clears throat> yeah, like, see, cause you can listen to, to the lyrics of a hardcore song and any hip hop song, and the. And the same message is almost there, you know. It, it, it doesn't matter who you listen to, whether it's a uh, it's Biggie or you know fucking whatever to uh, E Town Concrete or yeah. uh, fucking Madball. You know, it's either wanting to better yourself or you know a respect to your friends and family. Or there's always a them. Fuck them. Yeah. Right. Hell yeah. I mean, that's my base. That's why I keep it. You know what I'm saying? Like, listen, man, my home life is good and this and that. We're like, when I start writing music, it's fuck them. I go with everybody else. Bottom line. And and I'm, I'm comfortable with that. You know? Fuck who? Everybody. Damn, anybody who's not standing fucking lifting you up. Right. You know? That's why I feel <clears throat> Jam, you good? You sleeping? No. No, Jam is sleeping, man. No, oh, dude. I'm sitting here thinking, man. It's... Yeah. You know, all the good times? Hell yeah. Yeah, I miss it all, man. You know, especially. Hold on. Sh Let's talk about another show. I'm going to pee. <laughs> I got another show story. Another show story. Hey, great. Grab me a beer out of the fucking fridge, bro. <laughs> so, so what was your, <laughs> so what was your, so one of your favorite shows to play with, like, let's say whether you're with for BKC or Poison Tongues. What was like, uh, doing any big festivals or anything, or just a lot of, you know, like touring and shit. Uh yeah, <laughs> it's a mix, man. It really is. It's like. I mean, it's enough, fucking dude. Like, <clears throat> to, uh, if I were gonna tell all the stories between this band and all the shit that went down with them, and you know the next band or earlier band BKC, it's <laughs> you know it you know it's a long story. It's it's two different things, right? Yeah, right. The fuck are you doing? It's all good. <laughs> Shit, man. <laughs> so I cut out. Where's this, my fucking beer? Cut out this weird silence. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. I knew this was gonna be a fun time. I'm glad you guys came over, man. Hey. Not ready for 
A what? A B. A B C. This ain't just a shit well, show. It's our shit show. So right? here's the thing. It's our shit show. Here's the thing. <laughs> I can't tell the fucking craziest. Well, one of. <laughs> and there's a fucking handful of fucking BKC fucking <laughs> fight stories without this motherfucker being over here. <laughs> it's getting more, more poisoned. Okay, I'm gonna take a break. I'll just cut this fun weird shit out. Right yeah, yeah. Say nothing. Let's take a pause. Oh, here he comes. Oh, here he comes. <laughs> He's found some All weird right, shit. buddy. He found uh, what is that shit called? All the shits. <laughs> it's called all the shits. Who gives the fuck? It's in the fridge. I got Stella's in there, bro. Oh shit, is that one still in the freezer? Stella's? Yeah. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's exploded by now. No. Hey, I got Stella's, bro. Hey. Bring that shit the fuck up. Don't open it. Do not open it. <laughs> Only if that was on. Oh, yeah. Oh, she, shit. She needs a fucking relaxed yeah, period. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. That's fucking frozen. Let's take it. Yeah. I think 30 seconds. You want to put it just it's next to a fire? No. no you, you have to stroke it. <laughs> you have to stroke it like this. No, I will. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if you saw me that I did. <laughs> I did stroke it. <laughs> what? <laughs> Woefully. <laughs> Jam. That's what I was like. Um, what about it? I was like, so. Luckily, Jay knows how we get together, so I'm not worried about it. You've been. <laughs> she's seen it. Yes. <laughs> hmm. What's in this cup, son? What the fuck is in this cup? There's something in here. Bullshit crown? Drink it. What is it? Oh, good. A little bit of crown? Tastes good. <laughs> Not bad, right? Tastes like my old school drink. <laughs> yeah, you know I mean? Oh, it tastes good. Yeah, you know I mean? All right, so Jay, look. Oi. Right. Come here. Come here. We don't have any more. Come here. Or what? We don't, have more, we don't have more drinks. What? Drinks we need. What? We need to open these up. I got a frozen fucking cell right here. What's this? <laughs> don't. Bro. No, don't, no, no. Dog, don't oh, open it. Is it, all, is it frozen? <laughs> well, do you want a regular beer? <laughs> you need something else? <laughs> oh, yeah. here it comes. Here it comes. Here it comes. Oh, <laughs> open your mouth, baby. Say <laughs> <laughs> the camera, oh, dog. Fuck out of here. <laughs> Damn, that froze up, didn't you? You <laughs> drink it too hard it out. Those aren't mine. Uh, the gay shit. I don't drink that fucking stuff. What do you mean? I say I don't like the craft beers. I think they're Where the for... fuck are my keys at? Oh. I think they're all Now gross. you're being crazy, bro. No, I'm gonna... Oh, there she is. Thank you. Whew. This is a different world when you take off the... Why'd you take Jam's keys? The headphones. No. I left them on the bar. Like gonna put up Why'd you shit? take Jam's keys? Ooh, you guys are crazy. Okay. Jay, hold on. I don't even know where we were. You didn't even open that. Oh, oh. <laughs> you can eat that, yeah. Or you need a lighter. I'm going to pop it off. No, man. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> no, there's a thing over here somewhere. Is there another oh. one of these in there? No, man. Yeah. You just used your lighter a minute ago. No, but I, I didn't have my keys then. <laughs> yeah, not that ain't it. Oh, there it is. My oh, is, is this good? One? Do you need a napkin? Okay. Oh shit! There it goes. We'll see how good it is here. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Oh, did the bottom broke? I'm playing. What? <laughs> I'm just kidding, sir. So where are we at? We're in the middle of a BKC shit show. Oh, which one? 
Oh yeah, no, he's talking about the one where we went out. Said you had a story where we we're about to. Uh, I have no idea what the story was. Thank you. We're talking about strength for a reason, I think. I no, 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 no. Oh, it was a uh, pound for pound. If we got past that, mm. no, we're talking about the fight. Talking yeah, about the I, fight. I don't think there was that fight in that show, was there? No, but the fight was somewhere in Bro, Chicago. I'm not sitting here sucking. I'll be a goddamn dick. <laughs> Fucking Stella Slurpee. Yeah. I'd rather you not do that, too. Jake, come here. So, um. Cup. Get it, Cup. I tell you, I tell you what we did. Thank you. Uh, somehow, there's a long night of party, and, and then in the morning, um. Empty cup. Empty, 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 empty. Yeah. Thank you, man. You and in that morning, um, these three motherfuckers came to pick me up. Jam, <laughs> Jeff, and Jimmy, right? And I'm like, well, I'm like, we're driving to Chicago. I said, cool. Well, let's, um, you open that one too? I said, well, uh, <laughs> let's go to, uh, the liquor store. Right? No, don't. Wait, hold on. That's not what I said. Because don't, we went and got. Don't confuse that show with the fucking what show. What do you mean? The what show where we fought the whole fucking bar. Oh, shit. That, that, that is that stuff. So you guys were on tour going somewhere? <laughs> was it a weekend or what, just like a, yeah, just exactly. a couple of days? It, yeah, it was, it was a, a weekend getaway. It was a weekend. BKC, it's the fun time. Oh, yeah. It was a weekend. Hey, have KC, have BKC in your bar. Yeah. The Listen, fuck all you up. You'd be nice and calm, probably, I'm Actually, sure. the, the Strength for a Reason tour went pretty well. Yeah. Actually, homeboy from uh, Strength for a Reason, uh, he, he, he hooked us up. Yeah. He did. And we ate he did. well. We did our thing. We, we you know, we did Yeah, he well. gave us some bread and all that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's not what I'm talking about. Yeah, no, you're talking about. So fight. what I'm talking about the is other okay. what? Yeah, what's the tour with what? Fast forward, right? Yeah. So they're like, "Hey, we played last night." It, like, what was it? Like, fucking. Remember, the Blondies had a show, mm-hmm. and they were like, "All right." So next morning, Good. they were like, "Yep, we're going to Chicago, back to our hometown." Then we're gonna do this no. and that. No, the first day that we went to fucking out to Chicago with BKC for to tour of what? You remember? Yes. We drove. <laughs> no, no time to play games. No. You talking about the fucking uh, four local? <laughs> <laughs> You're four local. You know what's gone wrong. No, listen. Who's drinking it? What Wait. happened? No, no. Listen, Jimmy and Jimmy and Jeff pick us up, right? All right, I so see, I see Jamie in a vein. Let's no, let let's get one thing straight first. Jimmy and Jeff don't drink. The only two guys <laughs> in the band that drink are me and Rick. You fucking hooligan. <laughs> but we drink right heavy. We drink it. Right, so, so as so, before we even leave fucking down river, we stop at the old fucking spot over there on uh, Southfield and yep. the fucking Outer Drive. Yeah, by my house. Southfield and Outer right. Drive. They run the same way. But... By my house. Okay. Right there at the fucking... Southfield so, River Drive? No. Outer Drive, Southfield Outer Drive. Triangle. Oh, Southfield Freeway <laughs> and Outer Drive. Okay. Yeah. Okay, we got to say Southfield Freeway. So we go in there, and this is about the same time that fucking <laughs> Four Locos had first come out. That like, dangerous. Turn you into a well, yeah, when they serial were killer stupid, shit. Right? Yeah. So we go in there, me and Rick, you know, we're, obviously we're going to get a fifth of two of Jameson, some beers... We got. And, uh, hold on. And then we, we got we, we got we got we got two fifths of Jameson. <laughs> we got a case of beer. Oh. And eight four locos. For Hello. two people. That's for the ride the, the to tw- fucking Chicago. The twenty four ounces. Oh mind God. you, these are the, like the legit four like four locos, right? The oh, original. The original. This is for the ride to Chicago. Me four and hours Rick, away, bro. Me and Rick. <laughs> Mind you, we, <laughs> neither one of us had fucking had, had a fucking zero sip. breakfast. No. <laughs> okay, well, 
you know, that's a you know, that's a whole fucking different <laughs> side of the story. I was like, well, neither one of us had had even tried these things before, mm. right? <laughs> Super. So we just grabbed the fucking basket full. <laughs> so we're fucking we we pile all the shit in the car, beer, Jameson, fucking four two pieces of Jameson, four case logos. of beer, we're like eight four Jimmy, logos. Jimmy, fucking hit it, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> and a big ass van, right? Yeah, I remember that van because I used to work with him. Man. Yeah, he used to pull up. Like, now, listen, gym. yeah, the creeper van. So now, Matt, imagine that shit, right? Packed with like ice. And now, pack. Now, imagine like two other twelve packs with no ice. It just right. jam, and I go like this. <laughs> well, yeah, it wasn't that extreme. I, mean, I don't know. We, we were we were sucking down the fucking Jameson. And beers in between, you know what I mean? So was it and one night in Chicago, or were you guys like hitting a couple spots? No, it was, it was two nights. Okay. Yeah. So our, no, listen, it's not about being in Chicago, it's the trip that, that took us there. <laughs> the trip there. The four hours. So we And ate four locals. Me and Rick fucking decided to fucking chug this fucking fifth of Jameson, you know, the whole way there. Oh, no. We get there, right? Sleep on there. top of uh, two four locos, right? We chugged with Jameson. I mean, that was the first to go. <clears throat> I mean, we're gentlemen. Right? So, that was the first to go. So, we, you know, we take down the four locos because neither of us had, had them before. <laughs> right. So, no. So, we're like, hey, <laughs> you ain't a bitch, are you? He's like, no, you aren't a bitch, aren't you? I'm Boom. like, no. Knock him back. Gum, 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 gum. Not <laughs> later. All right, no. All right, let me. I'm trying to paint a picture here. Me and Rick are the only two sitting in the back of the van. Jimmy and Jeff are sitting in the front of the van, playing the most aggressive fucking hardcore that you could possibly fucking think of. And wow, we're, we're like we're pounding some of those aggressive alcohol that you could possibly fucking think of, right? Jesus Christ. <laughs> yes. Asking for trouble. Just, yeah. just knocking on the devil's yeah. door. No, so like, so, yeah, not knowing what a Ford Loco is. What so, I'm about know, to do. Like, you're just sitting there, you're just going, all right, all right. Me and Rick are just like, <laughs> dude, so finally. Like, we're... honestly, ready to kill each other. Like, oh, right. Shit. I mean, it, it got to that point where, like, we were so fucking hyped up, we're like, we wanted to kill anything that was in front of us, right? Listen. <laughs> Not so, even out of Michigan yet, or what? So now, guess what? Oh, no, no. This is what we showed You're up. Jackson. Showed up in hour away. Chicago. So we get to fucking Chicago, <laughs> right? And I wish I was in a little better shit to tell the story, because this shit is hilarious. All right. So we get to Chicago, and I get out, talk to my buddy Phil, who set the whole show up. Who's Phil that? from what? Shout out to him. Uh, and he's just like, bro, you guys are fucking twisted. Well, <laughs> what no. do you mean, Phil? Yeah. Well, me and Rick were fucking twisted, right? And no, like, no, like, seriously. Jeff and Jimmy, Jeff mind. and Jimmy are standing like this, a little angry. Yeah. Oh, okay. A little okay. annoyed. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and and Jaws. Me, me and Jeff are like, Bleh. <laughs> Yelling at everybody, spitting on women. Ooh, <laughs> like, shut the fuck up, oh, man. Shit's frozen. Yeah. It's been open for like a half an hour. That's a Sam's Club Anyways. freezer for you. Bro, it's been open for a half an hour. Not the Sam's Club Anyways. freezer. So, <laughs> the member's Mark. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Anyways, yo. All right. Yo, let's fuck that. Okay. So, so, Jimmy and Jeff, you know. You know, I mean, me and Rick were fucking twisted, bro. Yeah, twisted like, up. I need light, you to appreciate light, that. Light, light. Where's your light? Where? Oh, right, your right, 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 right. Thank you so much. So what I get into? What I come to this weird man's house? Right. So, so. All right. I need you, Jam. I need. I need you to focus. Oh, I need my lighter. I need a fucking cigarette. Can we pause this? Yeah, I can pause. You want to go smoke? Pause this motherfucker. If I can figure that out. Oh, hey. 
What? Hey, his headphones. Bro, I've had to piss for like fucking 45 minutes. I pissed three fucking times. I know. Hey, hold on, listen, listen. Cool. Pause it. Pause it? One, two, three, four. Drinks. Oh, we're going to go this a matter. We'll cut this out regardless. Those are garbage. Gonna have to be a part two of this. Oh, there's one just right over there. You can set it on top of that little thing over there. We're gonna dump it out. You can f- f- dump it in the sink. Oh no, no, no. I ain't going nowhere. Whatever you do. So um, I'm prepared. No, we're good. I'm taking this cup, by the way. Okay. It's all right. So um. <clears throat> You know, um, so it's interesting, uh, like the way, you know, shit turned out with everybody, um, things went left, things went right, right? Um, I guess I, I, I really never, like, knew why, like I said, like, um, I know that again. There was there's a third BKC record that, again, I was dragging my feet on, um. Like the 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 material, the music was done. It was recorded for fucking ever, and I just I I, I guess I couldn't muster myself up to like, you know, put the words down. But um. Anyway, through that, you know what I'm saying, um. I started really, like, really, really, really expanding on doing, like, my solo, like, rhyme and shit. Yeah. And, like, you know, touring and doing, like, whatever and, you know, whatever. So, it, it wasn't like one took me away from the other one, but, like, you know, like we said earlier, it's always been around, like, like, they're synonymous, right? So... I don't know where the fuck Jam is at, because we do want to talk about that fight still. So. Yeah, he's got to hurry up. Um, but moving forward, like you know, like we said, twenty twenty one, Jam and Big Rick, um, BKC. You know what I'm saying? I fucking hope so. Yeah, yeah, we we can get that shit back. Yeah, man. there's nothing to you it. Whether man. just put out an album or when shows are allowed, you guys got some put together man. can you imagine listen we will blow your Ooh. mama's pants off you know what i'm saying like <laughs> like like serious like i agree and um like i so we already said once this whole shit's over with when when shows are allowed to come back i i hope a lot of people just uh you know realize you know that it's still here you can it still is. come back it and, is you know you can fucking hang out see your friends because no, absolutely. It's a good man. time. Yeah. And yeah. why not? Yeah. Too? Like what are you doing? And um what I always love, man, is like, you know, even like <clears throat> like a couple of the first times I saw Jam with uh Poison Tongues. Fucking bugging, man. I was like, Yeah. So hard. Yeah. Check it out. It's everywhere still. Oh, oh, oh. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's go. Like but Lenny just fucking murders it. Right. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, so, yeah. You know, and them playing off each other. So now, if you can put in your head, Jam and I playing off each other, like, great, like, just gorilla monsoons. Yeah, just this podcast alone is all you need to know. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like, a... just bug it. Yeah, you're just nasty. Bug it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Before Jam comes back, though, let's switch it up to that video you guys did with uh, the... With Suicide Kings, you did it, that uh, Mind Playing Tricks remix. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know uh, Joey Knuckles shouted out to a time you, I was Aztec, went gorilla at St. Andrew's Hall and broke somebody's <laughs> jaw. What happened? Um, Do you remember? Yeah, man. Uh, <laughs> what, happened? what happened? I can just imagine St. Andrew. What is it? Was it a hip-hop night or was it a, was it a hardcore show? I mean, I mean, you know, some sometimes. shit happened. We've got to, yeah, you know, yeah, I, no, I, you know, you know sometimes, sometimes you got to just plead the fifth, man. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> I just remember hearing this. Oh, hey, God, ask him. You know what I'm saying? Plead the fifth, drink a fifth, right? <laughs> yeah. It could have never happened. Right. So, um, but yeah, man, um, Joe and I, man, we're brothers, man. Like, 
Same way. Um, and actually, I I think Jam and Joe are closer than closer than I am. But you know, because they did like they did yeah, the whole the, the Muay Thai shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah mm-hmm. for sure. But um, but Joey's my brother, man. Like you know, we did the whole bully camp record. We like I I'm, I'm all over here Suicide King shit. We do the the videos, everything, mm-hmm. man. Like that's my guy. That's my real guy. Um, you know. I just need him to tune up. Tune up. Let's go, baby. 2021, baby. Mr. Knuckles. Sup, Joey? Hi. Nuke. Yeah. Oh, well, hold up. What do you uh, prefer, a hide or the alliance? Where? What's your stance? <laughs> what's your stance? Because I was on the alliance, man. Right, 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 right. Because hide was before my time. Just a little bit before me. Um, I only seen their um uh, reunion that one time. I never, I never seen it. Um, you know, I only seen the alliance. But so I check it. this out, yo. Check this out, right? So I remember one of the one of the last shows. If you remember, like sometimes Joe would come out and rock with BKC. Hell yeah. So. Raised by Wolves. Yeah. Check it out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. My guy. So so we had a show at, what was that place over here in Lincoln Park? Which, Floyd's? No, no, no. Uh, Modern Exchange? Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Southgate, but close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> and um, uh, BKC, we, we, we learned Black Iris. Mm-hmm. Hide, right? And so we played it. Right before we played the song that I do with him, mm-hmm. right? Race Bulls. Yeah. And they're like, man. And I, and I started bitching, like, bah, 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 like, fucking just bugging out on him, right? And he's like, what? What? I'm like, oh, I'm like it's your shit. And then, like, we, 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 we jumped straight into, like, Race Bulls. It was, it was funny, man. I love that shit. Well, We're this- jam. I don't know. I think he fell asleep. He's been smoking a cigarette way too long. Oh, yeah. He's dead. <laughs> he might need... Jay! He's sleeping. Your man dead? <laughs> Never mind that. Well, so anyway, fuck it all, right? You know, he's been doing the hip-hop shit. Yeah. Long, yeah. long, long, long time. I like all, all the albums, but I appreciate the... Uh, it seems like every Friday the 13th, you... You put something out, man. You know, so I what's mean, with you in the Friday the Thirteenth? You just love horror flicks. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean that that goes back to us being little kids, man. You yeah, Jason like, tattooed on my knee. So I got Jason Voorhees on my knee. So, oh, oh she can't see her. Jesus but, Christ! But I'm just yeah. saying, I appreciate you know Friday yeah. the Thirteenth. I mean, yeah, yeah. So, a lot of that. Um, a lot of that appreciation, I, I have to take back to uh, Jeff, the original guitar player from BKC. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I mean, it's the jaws on his arm, correct? Well, right, but you know yeah. what I'm saying like, you know, a lot of that shit, he was showing me like, you know, bang, 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 and like, and like, and, and those motherfuckers used to watch like all day, like they would like separate the day, and I, but um. No, nah, like I, you know, I learned to love it, man, and this and that, and you know, you know, whatever it is. But um, to me, it's always about pushing words different, and like making people hear it different. You know? Yeah, I, I can say, you know, the shit I've heard from you, it's all, it's all, it's a metaphorical, you know, it a is. lot of it metaphorical, is. which, which you really have to. It's not just. Some write down some shit that rhymes. Like you're really thinking about what you're putting down, and uh, you know. Thank you. So you can appreciate that. And once you hear it, you know, it's, it's you know, just what you hear talking about. You know, the Phantom of the Opera. You know, right, 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 that's right. one of my favorite songs on it. Thank you. You don't even know what album that is, but yeah, man, that, everything that, you do, you know, I think no, it's yeah. hard. It, it, it's more old school, you know. So you got the 16 bars. You're not no mumble rap. It's not no fucking. Uh, so now, let let, know, let, no, let me ask you something. Let me ask you something. Can anybody find Jam? <laughs> Who cares? Okay, but <laughs> no. Jay, don't be gone for like forever. So, my question is, man, is like, so, so, what happened? so it's not like the modern rappers. Like, does that mean it's better? Or does it mean it's worse? Like, how does it sound? You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. No, like, no, like I'm asking you. Like, how does <clears throat> it sound to me? I think it's original as fuck. You know, there's nobody really like you. 
um, you know, the shit you put down it. And it reminds me more of like old school. Um, yeah. And and it's simple. You know, you it seems most of the songs there's not really like a long chorus or your chorus like won't repeat. It's just boom, boom, boom. You know, it's, Line after line. So I don't know if you noticed, I try not to do choruses. Yeah, for sure. That's why I said either there is, you know, or the one, it's like one, I want to call it a hook or whatever. Like you say it one time, it's not a... Jay, you back? Okay. It's like a... <laughs> Jesus. Hold on. No, I thought I was tripping because it was hot. I, like, I look back and she's right there. I was like, okay. <laughs> Never mind. Well, Sorry. You call him an Uber. Yeah. No, seriously, yeah. And um So it's not really a course. And for the most I'm, part Listen. I get all the formulas and, and like what everybody like everybody's doing. And you know, it's okay to be from Detroit and not appreciate what these guys are doing. You know what I'm saying? Like Rob, you gotta remember, man. I've been putting records out since, fuck, you know what I mean? And like, that's okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, we were putting syllables together when it like it wasn't cool to put syllables together or like whatever the fuck it was. And like, you know, and like everybody was like, well, why don't you have like a hit song, a hit song, a hit song, a hit song. But again, isn't this what we've been talking about all night? This is like hardcore. Yeah. Let's keep it where it is. Like, you know. We fucking rock where we're at. Exactly. And we rock where we're at. Um, um. <laughs> right? Hell yeah. I fucking love it, though. And and and, and to me, there's no way. There, That's there, real. There's no, there's no corporate. There's no agents involved. It's not. You know, not making money. You know, it's it's just real, raw. You know, and and I get it, man. Nowadays, there's there's plenty of agents involved and people getting it, man. But like, not us. That's cool. It's cool. My brother back. You sleeping outside? My brother back. I don't know. That was a you know, fresh air. Fresh cigarette smoke air. There's no point. Maybe two. Hey, guess what I didn't talk about that yet? That fight. Uh, I ain't talking about that wait. fucking fight yet. <laughs> <laughs> fight music. Hey, 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 hey. What has happened? So anyway, you know what I was waiting for? Is this fucking thing to fucking thaw out? <laughs> <laughs> Is it thawed? Well, a little bit. <laughs> Yo. You know, dude who edits this shit for some like, what the fuck? <laughs> Shout out to Darren. He's like, what I miss out on? He said, I'm at home fucking knuckle deep in cookie dough. I can't come over. <laughs> so it's all good, buddy. So, again, on this one session, we push out to Chicago, right? Yes, Jam, I'm talking about the show. And um, Chicago, yes, yeah, but okay. and when you eat the whole way there, right? You're drinking four locos, <laughs> smoking weed, drinking Jameson. Hey man, who's asking? <laughs> Watch your mind, everybody. It's like two right, hours. Wait, wait, two wait, hours wait, later. Wait, wait, did you like? Did, did you tell them the whole story? No, no. <laughs> no. We're talking hip hop. All right, we so, didn't even touch it. All right, so am I cutting off a, uh, no. a story? Uh, no. No? We're talking all about right, all right. You know, the parallel still hip-hop to hardcore. Right, it's, right, right. All right. So, <laughs> so don't. <laughs> cut out the weird we shit. Come on, Jam. We got this fucking show <laughs> lined up <laughs> out in Chicago, right? <laughs> and we had played with these guys once before, and God bless them, man. But shout out to uh, Phil what? D from what? what? Yeah. <laughs> Bro, God bless what? Bro, they the first time we went out there, remember the spread they had out for oh, us? Oh, God. I mean, it was fucking like a legit like restaurant spread. Like your it's like a stars. spread. Yeah, for sure. I, I would, love it. And Good. We, like, Thank we, you. <laughs> Thank you. We drove yeah, four hours. We're yeah. fucked up. We're hungry. 
I mean, yeah, we were hungry, but we, you know, we weren't expecting that. Bro. No, no, we weren't. <laughs> Man, that was that was homie's dad. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, Phil's dad, dude. Like him, him and his mom. They had a spread <laughs> laid out for us, like a spread spread. Well, you gotta hear like this. A full you gotta hear this. Italian spread. feast spread. Thank yeah. You. And we were just like, like no, sausages. Holy shit, bro. So we, I mean, we we got down, son. So the second time we got hey, down. Hey, right. guess who's vegetarian still? Oh. You not no, not then. You weren't then. Yes, I was. No, you weren't. Yes, I was. Not, dude, that was fucking fifteen fucking years ago. <sighs> yes, I was. So you're eating or no? You don't need no sausage. Then then I was taking a drink of my fucking frost. Oh, sorry. Hey, hey, sorry, frost. Uh, Stella Art Frost. <laughs> He's been bubbling over for two hours. <laughs> <laughs> So, all right, that was the first. That was the first time out there, right? We go out there, we do our thing, show went over fine, right? Second time we go out ish. there, ish, ish, whatever. <laughs> it was a BK show, BKC show. Oh, you know what I mean? It, it was. It was a fucking. It was no, a, listen. It was a. It was listen. <laughs> it was a fucking Detroit hitter, right? <laughs> bomb, bomb, bomb. Second time we go out there. Me and Jeff and and uh, Rick and Jimmy, you know Jeff and uh, Jimmy did, they didn't drink. I don't think <laughs> they really understand Jeremy and I. Yeah, hey man, don't, don't be saying my real name, bro. Sorry, bro. Sorry, sorry. It's always edit. It's Jam. Jam. It's Jam. Uh, it's uh, Ben Jam. How'd you get that name? It's Jam. Fuck everything. How'd you get Jam? Uh, do you want to you want to sidetrack from the story? No, no. no. I'll, I'll, story give, I'll, I'll give I'll give you the story. story time. Fuck it. Hey, what if I fucking jam you? you know? Story time, Chicago. All right, Chicago. So, God, me. I, we so we had this, our next set, our next little tour in Chicago, right? <laughs> Before we even left Allen Park, right? Me and Rick were like, "Hey, yo, hit the fucking liquor store." Because we're not driving all the way sober, bro. We're, it's not happening. Sorry. I know you I know you two don't drink, but that's it is what it is. I'm sorry. Boring. Yeah. Me but, and, no. But here's the thing. Band van. You're, you are driving and you are sitting in the front. Me and Rick are sitting in the back Listen, doing what we do. Band so, van. Yeah. Band van. But exactly. band van. <laughs> like so I don't know how that worked. I don't know how that worked. Oh, it worked out great. <laughs> it worked out great for this fucking story. Two fists. <laughs> two fists. Okay. All right. All right. So we stop at the store, right? Grab what we needed. A couple of fifth of Jameson. Fucking, this is right around the time when the fucking four locos shit was Eight around. logos. Yeah. Ooh, dirty four locos. No. Well, yeah. That. Me and, uh, I look, I'm, dude, I can still remember this. I look at you. I was like, you ever had these before? I've heard about these things. He's like, no. I was like, me either. I've heard about them, never had them, right? And I was working in the bars, like all the bars, you know, at the time, <laughs> right? So I was like, fuck it, grab two apiece, right? So we get two, two four, like the real four locos apiece. Mm -hmm. We hit the road and two fifths of Jameson and some beers. You know, the, obviously there was beers. We, we had a case of beer. Yeah. So the whole way there, me and Rick are just fucking, you know, we're, all of us, you know, hang out, listening to fucking whatever fucking Jeff wants to play, Jeff or Jimmy, and we're just getting down, you know what I mean? Fucking partying, listening to music, you know, getting fucked up. But like, and, like, but like the thing, jamming, but the, jamming but the, in the, the back, like. But the thing is, <laughs> we were, like, me and Rick were getting <laughs> really <laughs> fucked up. Because me and Rick we're the only, I mean, it may have seen, you know, it may have seen that way because me and you were the only ones that were drinking. <laughs> right. And Jeff and Jimmy are sitting in the front seat like, oh, my God, dude. I hope these motherfuckers <laughs> can hold it fucking together. Mm. Oh, what do you want to hear? <laughs> All at war? All right, man. Right. We gotta go play a show. So we drank two bottles of liquor and, and the like two four like original four locos a piece, 
Wait right? A Wait a we, we get to the fucking show. Wait a minute. You wait. Yes. You remember? We went and got another one. And we went and got some more. No, oh my God. <laughs> no, hold on. I'm going to say this off camera. <laughs> I went. I found a liquor store. <laughs> and I got another fifth for Jameson. And I set it on the stage for Jameson. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. Another fifth. Another fifth. Another fifth of Jameson. While we fucking played the whole show, me and Rick were fucking twisted up like a goddamn garlic knot, dude. Like, and we, like, we're, we're trying, like, me and Rick are, Rick's the singer. I'm playing bass. Jeff and Jimmy are sober. And man. God, God bless them, man. I, I really, I almost feel like I should say I'm sorry for, <laughs> like, <laughs> for her. Our fucking, you know, our uh, appearance at night, our fucking show that night. But, dude, me and Rick were just shit house drunk, dude. I mean, just as drunk as could be. Just enjoying it, though. Just oh, having just, a good just time. Just getting down, dude. Yeah. Right? Why not? Why the fuck not? So, at, <laughs> after the show, I mean, all right. So, I have to, you know, kind of paint a picture here. As far as like what like what this bar was, it was like a two sided bar. They had like a, a a breezeway between where the venue was and where the the other uh, bar was, right? Oh yeah. <clears throat> so the side where the venue was, you know, the, you know we did our thing. We we went up there and raised hell and just fucking pretty much kicked everyone in the face. <laughs> hey, hey, what do you mean raise hell? <laughs> Dude, that's what I mean. We went up there, sounded like shit. Me and you kicked everyone in the fucking face <laughs> from our fucking four foot stage that we were on. Jesus it's some Christ. fucking podunk fucking bar in fucking Joliet, fucking Illinois. You know what I mean? Hey, man, you play where you can. Play. I mean, hey, never mind, man. Ah, uh, who so, you guys with, though? What tour was it? We still with strength for a reason on this? No. No. no, we no. Went, we, oh. uh, this was uh, a different tour. It's, we went out there to play with. An hour with, later. I forgot what's happening. With what? The band was called What? Oh, w- yeah, 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 yeah. H-U-T. Shout out to What. Shout out to Philly. Yeah, the homies. Yep. Mm-hmm. So. What? We, the, 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 our set went crazy, right? Me and Rick. As soon as we got done, we, we we crashed a fucking fucking bottle of fucking Jameson on stage while we played. After we'd already drank two Jesus. bottles prior and four four locos apiece, right? So I mean, we were fucking. We didn't know what the fuck was well, going and, on. And beers so, and shit and beers. So we came back over, you know, to watch some of the other bands after we played. And I'm sitting there hanging out in front of the stage. Jake. Hell. Sitting there hanging out in front of the stage. And, uh. Oh, yeah. Ch- so hey. This local was fucking just taking pot shots at me, dude. Just like, I'm just standing there in front of the stage by myself. Dude's taking pot shots at me, right? Like, not, not like a, uh, not like a, like a, like a Nazi nerd. Like, was just. He was just, I mean, he, no, not, not like that. I mean, he was just, he was just like a fucking local dude. Like he, 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 he was he was a big guy though. I mean, he yeah, was, yeah, yeah. He was, he, like, he was like six, six three, four, six yeah, three, six four. Whatever. Like he saw a jam and he was like, "Nope." Oh, all right, so here's the other big guy. I'm gonna take pot shots at him, and I wasn't even dancing, right? Yeah, I'm just standing in front of the listen. stage. Listen, hey, we're off three fucking fifths <laughs> and four locals. You don't want to know. Yeah. Those are like no. So I'm watching this, right? And I'm like going, what? What the fuck? Right? So. <laughs> I'm sorry, go ahead. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. It's right there. No. Party foul. No. Party foul. Uh, no. <laughs> it's all good. No. Oh, he's wasting booze. It's okay. Just wipe that fucking thing off. Who gives a shit? Just leave it there. Mm. No. Mm. Alcohol abuse. <laughs> you fucked up. But my Tito's. <laughs> it's a sign. Probably. So. <laughs> what were you saying? Yeah. So some tough guy thought he could get tough with the toughest guy. Yeah. Toughest guys. 
So this dude, you know, he was taking pot shots at me. And I turned around, you know, I, I fucking chin checked him, man. Okay, so hold like, on. And you were there for it, dude. You said, it was, I was like, bro, one more time and it's on, bro. Don't fucking touch me anymore, bro. Excuse me. I need, I need to be on camera. What's it called? Microphone. That's what I said. That word. So, in the back, Jimmy and Jeff were there. Remember that? Well, I mean, yeah, that, that, yeah, that part came. It, it what do you mean? The story. Okay. So, anyways. <laughs> so, BKC, again, we're a band, right? Okay. So, it was like, it was a big bar. It was like one of the bars where, like, okay, so, okay. So, our, our merch over here. In the bars like that, like that ish, right? It was like that. Well, the thing was, all right. So wait, look at hey. look at was saying before that it was it was a big bar, but there were two sides to the bar, and there was a bar like the actual bar bar that ran down the middle, but it fed over onto both sides, and there was a stair. All right, so imagine a horseshoe, like all right. So imagine like this. A horseshoe like this. Of course, I can and imagine then it. A bar going on the middle, and then this side fed. You know, you right? Know what I'm saying, mm-hmm. but there was a stairway over here. So here's the stage at the bottom of this horseshoe down here, right? <laughs> and then the only way to get to the other bar from this side was through this stairway. That's right not here. what I'm talking about. Listen to me. So, right? So. When I saw shit happening, right, I ran back to my band, Jimmy and Jeff. I said, hey, they were packing shit up. Listen Mm. to me. I'm not knocking either one of them. Wait, at what point? What? At what point? What? Because the shit already went down, but like, I, I, we, dude, me and you fucked the whole goddamn bar. No, no, listen, listen, no, but I ran, I ran back. So, to give them a heads up, yeah. I didn't know that. I remember fucking telling Jeff, because I was like, I, yo, I was fucking nose to nose. I met, that no, no. I remember telling Jeff, I was like, yo, listen, look. And then I remember Jimmy going, like he was packing shit up. He was like, "Oh, they're gonna like like they're gonna fight or something." Like that. Right. I'm like, "Yeah, we're going to." <laughs> so what's happening? Fuck you. <laughs> so anyway, so we went and got into a classic battle. Um, you remember to said. Tell how that fucking shit transpired. So, like the, the like the shit from the stage, right? Where the guy was like, "Oh, uh, blah blah blah," well, you know, so whatever, like, you know, and like I ran back and then like fucking whatever the fuck it was, and the guy was like hammering on my head and shit, and then next thing I know, right. There's people fucking everywhere. No, no, no. Listen, listen. All right, hold on, hold on, Rick. I think you're you're giving a way, a way less detail. Am I jumping? Am I jumping? You are. Yeah. Sorry. Go. Oh. Yeah, yeah, you are. Ah! <laughs> All right. So when the dude started lumping yeah. on me, you know, the yeah. big guy. Yeah, yeah. The In the guy, front. Like I said, yeah, the guy that was like six four. He started lumping on me, taking pot shots. Wait, wait, yeah, yeah. P- taking pot shots. But then I jumped on and, him and started and, hitting him. I mean, yeah, that's that comes along, you know, later in the story. But there's a lot of shit that happened before. Oh, happened. oh, 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 oh. You're peeking, son. <laughs> peeking. <laughs> so, we were watching uh, The Last Man, and dude was taking fucking pot shots at me. And finally, I, you know, I turned around and told him, I was like, listen, bro, one more time you fucking touch me, I'm going to fuck you up. And you better hope it's not just me, because if it's just me, you're going to be lucky. 
So if my homeboy fucking jumps in, you're gonna be fucked. So he takes another pot shot at me, right? And that's when everything went off the rails, right? <laughs> went off the fucking rails. Listen, when I say I jump in, right, and just go fucking ape shit like you don't care and like whatever, it's Jammer and I fighting a whole bar. Am I wrong? Am I wrong? Well, at that point, we were, we were fighting half the bar. I turned into the whole bar, but at that point, it was half the bar. So look, yo, my leg, my nail, my legs are getting kicked out. Look, I'm watching him. Oh shit, this shit's already done. Listen, <laughs> look, get rid of that. Yo, yo. look, bow, 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 bow. right? Get muscle down, right? Muscle down, like, like down, like. You mean this? held down? What, what, what it was? What he's talking about is. There were several bouncers that had grabbed both of us. Yeah. And they had muscled both of us down. Do you remember the screaming? So, Thank you. Do you remember me screaming? I said, let him go. Oh, yeah. Let my fucking brother go. Let yeah. him go now. They, he was screaming at the, at the top of his fucking lungs. Let him go. Let my fucking brother go. And the thing is, that one separation between the, the two bars... What I was talking about earlier, you know, with the horseshoe shape, was one at the end. It was a shallow uh, staircase that led from one bar to the other, right? And that's where all this transpired because the stage was right there. Yeah. Right. right? Yep. So all this shit was going on. Me and Rick had finally had enough. We're out there scrapping with these motherfuckers with... All the fucking knuckleheads from the show and the bouncers, right? Jesus. Okay, so seriously, Rick got hemmed up. I got hemmed up because they had a fucking gang of bouncers, right? They, they had them. Gang they had them. Never right? knew. So Rick got hemmed up, and he—that's when he's screaming, "Let my brother go! Let him fucking go! I'm gonna kill everyone in here!" I'm like this. I'm like this. Yo, and I, when, like I'm staring at Jam. Right, and I'm staring right back at him. You know what I mean? And it, it was just like. Bro, I mean, we, I'm like, we're hey, tied up. We're tied hey. up. We're fucked, right? At this point, I'm we're like, fucked. I'm like, let him fuck right? you go, you pussy. But the thing is, the, the dude that I had fucking, fucking lumped on, I still had him around the neck. And as we fell back on the stairs, he was. I still had him around the neck, and he was laying in between my legs. I and me and him were laying in between several bouncers' legs on these stairs. So we're like this, right? Oh, sorry, bro. You're cool. So we're all laying back like this, right? Secret bottles. Right? I got this dude around the neck. And the bouncer's like, let him go. Let him fucking go. I was like, and they, but they had me around the neck too, right? So I was like, if you let me go, I'll let him go. And we went back and forth for, you know, a couple seconds. I was like, I'm going to choke him out, bro. If you don't fucking (laughs) let me the fuck go. I'm going to choke him the fuck out. Seriously. You let me go or I, I'm not, you know what I mean? I'm yeah. going to choke him out. Handle business. <clears throat> so it turned into a like count of three thing. I'll let you go if you let him go. Count of three. One, two, three. And as soon as they said three and they let me go, I ranked on this motherfucker. <laughs> you I was just like, <laughs> boom, boom, boom. <laughs> and I started beating this motherfucker's head in. <laughs> As soon as they, as soon as they let me go, dude. As soon as they let me go, I, was, I started pounding this fucker's head in. You, you, you lied. <laughs> no, I won. I won is what I did. Cause I'm Good fucking shit. Ric Flair. Woo! <laughs> Listen happens. to me. You gotta do what you gotta do. Oh, but at the, after that. Oh, it was on. It was a bad story. I just kept yeah. going. Oh, dude, they scooped both of us up, dude. They drug us outside into the front of the fucking building, in front of the ve- venue. And we're looking, me and Rick are looking at probably 20 bouncers mm. on our own. Mm. Jeff and Jimmy still don't have a fucking Yo, clue what's going Jay, on. Jay, listen. No, no, listen. You remember them um, Cypress Hill videos? Of course. Which one? They all show up. The Chulos. Yeah. Remember that? Yeah. They're like, hey, man. 
Dude, it's just Jam and I, like... Back to back. I mean, we were literally back to back. No, dude. seriously, like, back to back. And listen, we're going to fucking die right now. Is that cool with you? I'm like... I got nothing left, bro. Yo, and these cats were like... <clears throat> what are you niggas from Detroit? So, yeah. Yeah, uh, we're, we're both like... We both are, bro. So, look. I was like, yeah, uh, I used to do the uh, so and 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 so. So we didn't get murdered that night because we're from Detroit. Yeah. I mean, there was some, you know, several things that were said before that. No, listen. Like we can't. We no, we can't say that on record. Right, 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 right. It's all good. There were some things that were said that. Listen. We were sitting there and like, I want you to understand that jam in my back, like seriously, like we were back to back, like we were ready to die. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. It like, happens. I, I remember looking, like looking at, you know, I looked at you in the eye, you looked at me in the eye, I said, you ready to go? He said, yeah, let's do I it. I was like, this sucks, man. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> let's do it. But how let's many, go. How many dudes? Like, do you have any recollection? Like, at least uh, I would say, an honest, like an honest opinion, twenty. Fuck. L- listen, if you took twenty, I probably took six. You were busy, no? You, like you were busy, man. Damn. You you don't know you were busy. Like I mean, I I was busy, but like not like you. Um, six dudes, like like total, or once we were outside. Because there was a gang of those motherfuckers, bro. Yeah, no, I don't. I don't like. Because I remember getting hit in the head. Jam. Once I, once I said no, one, no, two, three, let go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 shit. Oh, oh. No, no. Listen, once listen. I, my bad, dude. You're cool. One, one, listen, I know. Man, once it, I said, <laughs> yeah, let go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was just like, yeah. Dude, yeah. yeah. Once I get hit, let's start swinging. <laughs> no, it, it was the microphone that fell over. No, no. no. Yeah, we we started fucking swinging, man. Hey, oh, we went to fucking town, son. Like, but the thing is, we fought all those motherfuckers all the way outside the bar, and then when we were standing with them face to face, and uh, dude, I'll never forget this, bro. Does we anybody were standing like, there? Like, me and you were standing there, literally like back, like shoulder to shoulder, like this. I was just like, "Fuck it, man, you ready?" Yeah, you, you're like, yeah. "Yeah, let's do it." And then something about, you know, the whole Detroit thing came up. I said, maybe you said something about it or I said something about it. I don't know. It's like, let's show how Detroit gets down. And as soon as, like, that word came out, I was just like, you know, the guy was just like, wait a minute. You you Detroit? You, you're from Detroit? You, and Yes. And Remember? words are from and, Detroit. And, 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 and then the guy goes, wait a minute. Yo. Yeah. Hold on, I know this and this yeah, and that. I got family in Detroit. I got N words in Detroit and blah blah blah. Yeah, people in Damn. Detroit, blah yeah. blah blah. Yeah. So yeah. So, so I was just, you know, I mean, that was that's what brought it down to like to a. Uh, it brought it from down from from a boil to a simmer, and the fucking the fucking really crazy part about the whole thing is. <laughs> Is we ended up becoming friends with some of those guys. Yeah. And they were like, bro, next time you, if you guys ever come back to Chicago, call me and the, they gave crazy us our number. Crazy fucking assholes. Get, they gave us their number or gave us their number and they're like, call me. You got a place to stay, whatever it is, whatever you need, blah, blah, blah. And I was just like, how but- the fuck? Did we just go for fighting the whole fucking yeah. bar? Hold on. To make it friends with listen, these motherfuckers. Listen. To have a yeah. place to fucking stay. Exactly. Th- this is after we fought the whole bar. Right. And li- like it's literally, respect. whether it was the, the bouncers or the locals that were there, they were all involved in part of the you know a part of that fight before the like we f- show had the showdown with the bouncers. Like the entire bar, all the locals, anyways, they're like, "Fuck these guys, let's get them!" And fucking, dude, it was, it was insane, man. It was literally me and Rick fucking fighting back to back 
we fought the whole fucking bar in Chicago where it was it was in Joliet. It was. It was a bar in Joliet. It was. Yeah. yeah. And, it's like and a classic and, Detroit show. Yeah. Well, no, 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 classic fucking Joliet show. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck them. Well, I mean, that's a good way to wrap it up with a fucking sweet story like that, huh? Anything to say? Oh, you anything to say about the upcoming BKC record tour? What you want to do? <laughs> what you want to do, James? Rick? Reunion, at least. Who gives a f- shit? Man, me and Rick are working on something, and hopefully we get it together. 2021. Rick. 2021, just around the corner. Rick. Yeah. Come on, baby. Any new uh, we're, we're gonna Aztec work on the something. Barfly coming out? You, you working on anything? Yeah, of course, man. Yeah, now, always. I got a record coming out. Yeah, with uh, Chris the Camino from um, I think it's from uh, Berlin. But yeah, let's talk about let's talk about Licho Hawker. Let's go. Me and James. What you gonna say? Yeah, what you guys doing? I I, th- I think there's a a lot of avenues open, you know, because I think every avenue avenue is open right now. With uh, as far as the hardcore and whether it's here. There or anywhere. It was like reinventing because of the whole COVID thing. Right. Anybody can do anything with a clean slate. Like exactly. what we're about to walk into. Once the yeah, shit opens up, is. anything course, can happen. That's you literally know? what it is right now, man. And it's, it's uh, it, I think hardcore is opportunities going, for everybody. I think hardcore is going back eventually gonna go back to its truest form where it was underground to where you're literally gonna have to fucking hide and make <laughs> Going back to the old school days, make a hand handmade flyer for shows. Let's do it. To I where hope no, so. like Let's nobody it. knows about it because because yeah. we're not supposed to be no. right now. We're not even supposed to be doing this shit right now. Yeah. That's right. That's I right. know. That's, you know what I mean? Uh, fuck like it. this is even an underground thing. Yeah. You know what I mean? Hey, you might. Some people might say, "Do you know what you're doing right now?" Right. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm, I'm having a yeah. good time with the fuck people. I'm not supposed to have a good time with. Right. Well, people be having a good time with your friends, right? right? Yeah, yeah, of course. But I'm saying, you know, like, like some people be like, "You're not obeying that's the rules, the sir." But the thing is, <laughs> that's what it, that's what it is, man. That's the underground. That's what created the I underground. Know. Right. And, and this whole thing is gonna go back underground. And whether we're talking about the old school stories or you what's coming up next, it's all it's all fun conversations. Yeah. You know, and it, it, you know, let's it's got like we're saying, let's do more. Do more. Who we need, right? Let's take it back underground, man. Take it back to where it started from. Yeah, and shoot a move from there. So, yo, BKC, we need a drummer. It's coming out. Let's go. I'm sure there's plenty of drummers waiting. All right, bro. Beat on some shit. We will fuck you up. Take it back to. You want to get down and dirty? Square business, (laughs) yeah, buddy. You want to get down and dirty, BKC? Holler at us. All because right. we need a drummer. 2021. And we're going to tear this fucking next year up. Holler at us. We're good. I'm good. Yeah. That was the best.